excited. It's black, it's no longer white. It's changed. Interesting. We didn't actually go in the shop, which is probably a good thing because we didn't have to wear an obligatory mask. But I have to say, for a new iPhone release, there weren't actually that many customers. There was more um, workers there than customers, which is interesting for Apple because usually on an iPhone day release, it's like jam hat. He did ask, do you want anything with it? E.g. a charger or headphones? <laughs> <laughs> the box is so small. Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today, right here, we have the iPhone. 12 Ooh. gold edition and you guys are gonna be amazed because check out the setup we have for you today now this is gonna be exciting for you because look boom you can see it from the top view we're doing this guy live we're gonna be together so everyone in the world let me know where you are watching this stream from we're over here in Australia the only reason why we moved to Australia is because we wanted to be the first people Woo! unsponsored people Woo! to get our grubby hands on the iPhone 12 Pro situation, iPhone, iPhone, iPhone. Now, what is the most surprising thing about this phone? Tell us. Well, it's black and it's small. I don't know which one's more surprising. Guys, just take a look how small it is. It is literally, it's halved in size. And the biggest notable thing is that it's gone black. It used to be white, right? It was, it was black it used before. To be white. It's been black before. It's been black yeah, before. It's been black oh, before. You keep up. <laughs> <laughs> it's only the heads of technology channel here. But well, look how thin the box is. I mean, is the box as pretty much as small as a couple of one of my Samsung Galaxy Notes? Mm. Come on, you guys, 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 guys. I'm, I'm, I'm stopping stop saying know. I want to know, is it like as big or... Actually, you know what? It's actually slightly bigger than my iPhone 11 Pro. That's the box. Slightly big, that's the box. Thorough in-depth review over here. Guys, if you like this kind of like double camera situation, make sure you hit a like in the like section <laughs> and yes. leave a comment. Let us you know, know where you're us. from. Tell us where you're from and what do you want to know about the iPhone 12? Because we are live streaming right now and we can do anything within a reason. Anything. Within reason. Within reason. Now, the kind of reasons, you know, I labeled this video as not made for a certain age group. <laughs> All right, Ash, moving on. What, what are your first impressions of the box, by the way? Mine? It, it, yeah. looks, it looks nice. Let's, let's go up close. I think these people want to see it. Look at this. Whoa, this is... Gold, it's a bit spherical, is that the word? Spherical, yeah, lots of spheres. Lots I feel of like spheres. Apple, they're probably preparing ourselves from the oncoming alien invasion. <gasps> Tim Cook, we know you know. <laughs> all these iPhones you're watching, all these people are happening, lots of stuff, and watching lots of documentaries. What do you think? Is, it, is, it, is this a UFO? Is this a oh UFO tracking device? Do they want us to get iPhones? Actually, it has... it's, it's really, now that you say that, actually when you look at it in a bit more detail, you can see this round thing here, and then there's like almost like a teardrop coming off from the end of it, and I'm wondering, is that like the chemicals being released? And guys, Apple did fashion their new office in the form oh of a spaceship. You know, alien sightings are being confirmed by the CIA very, very recently this That's year. True. I'm sensing something's about to happen. It could be related to the iPhone 5G edition. What do you guys think in the comment section? Nora, read up the chat. You're spooking me out right here. Okay. You're spooking me out. Okay, we've got a lot of people hitting up on the comments. From London, Magni says what? hi from London. What? Matteo Pasuto has come from Italy. Italy, we love you. Mamma mia. Beautiful country. We lived in London as well. Patrick, like Paris, France. Paris, oh We are international today, European. Guys. The Americans are probably asleep right now. That's probably, cool. probably. Cool. We've got Salvatore is back. He's from Italy. We've got G Star Star Star. Hi from UK Berkshire. We okay, are guys, are you guys excited about this iPhone 12? Because from my pickup experience, they sent us a text yesterday saying we can pick up the iPhone. Make sure you come at your designated time slot. And we came at our designated time slot and it was empty. So. <laughs> Days where you used to actually queue up outside the Apple store for like hours. I remember being one of those people that used to queue up for a really oh long God. time. There was there was more staff than anyone, yeah. And check this: the security guard was so overzealous. Like, I, I don't know how to describe this to you. There's like circles. You guys know there's circles on when you're supposed to where you're supposed stand. to stand. So every oh, single yeah. like meter or two, there's a circle you stand. We were standing on our circle, and then we saw the security guard randomly go up to the circle behind us. The people were standing on their circle behind us, and he said. Guys, guys, step back. You have to stand in between the circles. It was so confusing. Like, <laughs> so the guys in front of us were standing on a circle. We were standing on a circle, but the guys behind us were told to go in between the circle and the circle. So, yeah, you know, to troll the security guard, he was like some teenage kid or like some early 20s power trip. Yeah. I was like, mate, shall I stand in between the circles too? And he was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
confusing, man. And we were in the front of the queue. Someone was collecting an iPad. Yeah. And, and they're still, actually, interestingly, they're still giving out masks for patrons going into That's the Apple cool. shop. pretty cool. I like masks. Which and, is cool. And the staff, yeah. they got all the different colours, masks. The that was kind of nice. They've got pink ones, haven't they? They're, yeah. There was colourful. one thing embarrassing, because the dude that gave us the phone, he was like, he upgrading from another iPhone. He was like, yeah. And uh, which one is an iPhone 8, is an iPhone whatever is and Four. Nora was like, no, it's an iPhone 11 Pro. <laughs> so <laughs> and he was like, oh yeah, yeah, I rode from one of those too. This one's so much better. Yeah, it's so he said. good. He said he spent half an hour before his shift just playing with the phone and he said it was really good. He didn't tell us what was good about it, but I guess we're going to find 5G, out you know, right I don't even have a 5G. Guys, if you, you are wanting to check out 5G stuff, I don't have a 5G SIM, nor do I plan on getting a 5G SIM. <laughs> I, I, I will test out the performance of 4G. Hopefully, the improvements of the aerial will make the radiation less. Oh, hopefully, fingers so. crossed. Well, so hopefully, because it's a newer modem, a newer chipset, newer everything, yeah. hopefully, it won't need as much power because it can do 5G. Hopefully it will run 4G more efficiently. That's my hope. So I'm hoping this will be a better phone. We're going to find out today live. Out. Ash, what model did you get? Because we have got some questions. What is the model you got? Now, uh, so, so Nora, has, she's got an iPhone 11 Pro and it's a 256 gig version. And she once ran out of space. And I, I told her, once I told her, you know, maybe delete all the videos and she deleted them and now she's got loads of space. But knowing that knowledge, I was like, one time she ran out of space. Let's get the 512. So this is, this is the, the 512, the full fat. This cost $2,500 in Australia. And the Australian dollar is doing really well. So it's probably around 2,000 American dollars. We're Pretty getting expensive. ripped off. It should be cheaper over here. Because our, our economy, you know, we, we've yeah. recovered, you know. We're doing really well, fingers crossed, over here. I know in Europe, you guys are getting a bit excited. In America, I saw the debate, that was pretty fun. Oh, Biden versus gosh. Trump, what that what was a good think? one. What oh. you guys think? I, I wish the moderator would zip it. She kept on interrupting Trump. I was like, what, you didn't drop in four? She left that guy alone and kept I on know. bullying that guy. Whenever he'd say something, she'd try shutting him down. Anyway, we'll find out it was pretty fun. I like politics a bit of fun. I'm not going to get yeah. into that situation. Are you guys excited about unboxing this? They are this? so excited. They're <laughs> saying they really want to know what the gold looks like because we have got the gold edition. They want to go for an, what Salvatore says, I would go for the iPhone mini. We need more compact phones. Yeah, it's true. Um, Noor Salah said, would love to know the radiation levels. That's interesting. And uh, I have G Star says, I have XS Max 256 gigabytes. Wow, XX Max. Do you remember when there was like 10, 10X, 10X Max? What was it called? 10X Max. It was, was really called funny. the Tennis Match. The Tennis Match. That <laughs> the was Tennis it. Match. The iPhone Tennis Match. That's what I remember. So, right here we have the 11 Pro, and this is the gold, and we've got the new 12 Pro gold. This one, this one's rubbish. It's only 256 gigs. Actually, Yuck. you know, I just realized it actually have, has curved edges as well, just like this one. Yeah, but this one has straight curved edges. See, it's all changed. Apple have reinvented the wheel once again. Mm. It's no longer curved. Curves, it's straight curves. I curves, see. curves are gone. <laughs> so if you're it's walking, like old school four, yeah. Four, if you're walking around, four. if you're walking around with a curved, curved iPhone, you're like, is that is that what we could afford this year, mate? Yeah. Did you have to what get it from that? the charity shop? Perfect. As if, whatever. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. Whereas if you got the old iPhone four, you're back in business. Yes. <laughs> back in business. <laughs> That one, so no. <laughs> oh, the battery life is <laughs> gone. It you can't replace it. But what I'm excited to see about Ash is this trim, right? I actually hate it. Anybody out there who's yeah, got yeah. a gold? Well, I'll tell you why really? in a second. Anybody out there who's got an 11 Pro, let me know if you like the trim as well and it's gold. I don't like the trim because it looks brown. Not that it looks brown, like it looks, it doesn't look gold. It looks kind of dirty. It's not like a shiny gold. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, yeah, you can see it. It's just, it doesn't look pretty. It's like, brown. Like this is gold. gorgeous. It's like bronze. And this, I swear it has discolored over time. No, it was always sure. like that. 100%. Was it always you like just, that? She's always used her iPhone with one of these I cases. I use the case because, you know, you, you buy have things to. so expensive. You, have to. you need yeah. to like yeah. cherish it and wrap it in cotton wool. But yeah, that's that just That being one said, thing. how many times have you dropped it in Once. the past year? Once. Oh, so it did I've looked it once. Yeah, look, I have a chip you just a there chip, on my chip. screen. Oh. I don't know if you guys can see oh, that. Oh, guys. Just there a on chill. my screen. That's it. That's it. It's over. It's, that's it. It's, it's <laughs> worthless. <laughs> <laughs> Take it for the value. We got to do a giveaway. <laughs> Who wants this iPhone 11? It's useless. Useless. It's, a tiny oh. it's good that you got oh Apple, okay? 
Yeah. Alright, so, so do these guys want us to unbox this wall? Well, they're saying, well, there's still a lot of debate going on, like, what's going on with this new phone. Patrick H has joined the show. Hey, Patrick. Battery won't last two hours in a continuous 5G use. Oh, man, we're not doing that 5G stuff. Yeah. Um, Dima says, I'm still with my iPhone 8 Plus and iOS 12.4. You know what? iPhone 8 was such a good phone. I, I still got one of those. Look, right phone. here. Right yeah. right here. We have that it right was, here. The iPhone that 8. That was such a good we phone. We got the Note. We got the 12. We got the 11. So you guys oh. thought you were tuning into a channel which isn't professional. And then you joined in the heads of tech. We got not one camera. This ca we got two, two cameras. cameras. We're doing it live. We got don't just have one phone. We, we got, got four phones. Four <laughs> phones. This is buy one oh. get four free. So guys, guys, subscribe, yes. like, share, comment. comment. That's, that's, that's what right, we do on comment. YouTube we videos nowadays. You and then we talk about random stuff that's unrelated to the content. So what, how's your day been? We went all the way to this place <laughs> called Westfield, Carindale. We did. It's we like a one-hour drive, and uh, we want. We saw the Apple queue was empty. But I wasn't, I'm not excited to pick it up, man. I, I don't, to be honest with you, I don't want this. She's, she's getting it because she, she likes that kind of stuff. Okay, like. and she's interested. Curiosity. In it. She's curious, curious about it. Me, I don't want Apple to know that this location has a 5G capable phone because they might tell Telstra and Telstra might get excited and they might build a cell tower on that right next to my house. I, I moved out of the city for a reason. I don't want to give them any excuses to build anything oh around goodness. here. Right now we've got a nice low reception here. I like it. Yeah. I'm enjoying it. So I don't Too even fast. want to activate this phone. Like I deliberately did a pickup location because I don't want them to know where I live. I think about this stuff way too much. So I wasn't excited. So when we went to the shopping center, saw the queue was empty. I said, hey, Nora, do you want to get a mug? And uh, we went mug shopping. How's that experience? It was great. You know what? I, I love tea. I don't know. <laughs> You guys are tuning in for an iPhone unboxing. We're gonna get there. <laughs> no, but, but the hipsters, thing, hipsters, hipsters, say, hipsters like tea. One thing I want to say is I love tea. I don't know who out there loves a nice warm cup of tea. And I just find that when I have like a regular small mug, it just finishes like in an instant. You're like, oh, that's it. I only just got into it. I was only starting to enjoy it. And then suddenly it's finished. And I don't, anybody out there who actually has tea with biscuits, oh my God, that's like another level. But I don't do that. But anyway, so I had this really small <laughs> mug and I was like, I wish my experience would last longer. So I said to Ash, Ash, you know what, let's go shopping. So we went shopping locally and we couldn't find any good size mugs right so then Ash said well we're going to pick up the Apple um, iPhone we're going to a really big mall let's just check out if there are no, any she actually said that it was her idea yeah but you, you drove us Any, anyhow we said you know let's go check out if there's any special shops so we went to loads of shops and we just couldn't find the right one we found like 400 mils we found 450 mils uh, mugs and then we came across another shop this now this shop now I gotta tell you guys if you're not from Australia you might find the name of this shop very interesting <laughs> The name of the shop, okay, I'm gonna tell you, like guess what it is, I'm gonna tell you what it is and just think of the first thing that comes to your brain. Write it down in the comments. Write it down and yeah, let me know what you what guys you think. What you think. We're gonna tell you what the name is, okay, you ready? Yes. We're going for a shop called Big W. 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 What does the W stand for? <laughs> let us know in the live chat. We'll tell you after you guys If are your ready. comment is censored, then you know, don't blame us. <laughs> it's legit. That's the name of the store. It actually stands for Big Woolies. Not <laughs> the other ones. <laughs> Big Woolies. That's what it's called. If we get cut off, you know why. Yeah, there's a shop over here called Woolworths. Woolworths. And they own Big W. And Big W stands for Big Woolies. Woolworths. Yeah. Yes. So anyway, <laughs> they had this really big mug there. And it was like 500 mil. So I was like, no. Right, guys, 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 guys. If you guys want us to unbox the iPhone 12, let us know. Otherwise, we're going to start, we're gonna, we're we're gonna start saying, hey, do you guys like tea or coffee? What's, I say, <laughs> Which type of biscuit do you like? Do you, are you, do you put in the milk first before the water when you make your tea? Or do you put the water in first and the milk? You see, it's really interesting. I'm going to bring it back to tech, yeah? Because when I'm coding or playing Twitch games, I do love me a bit of coffee. But sometimes when I have too much coffee, I get jittery and I make mistakes. Whereas when I have tea, it kind of relaxes me and I might fall asleep and not play any games <laughs> or coffee. I'll just zone out and sleep. So I'm not sure which is better, tea or coffee. I used to do, back in my workplace, I used to have a double shot. I called it the cappuccino. Wow. I'd have a cappuccino with a tea bag inside. Check this out, yeah? The coffee gives you an instant hit, so you can play those hardcore games. But a tea gives you a slow release of caffeine. So I'm like, I'm doubling up with the caffeine. Check it smart, out. Though. You heard it smart. first on this tech channel. I, I, like, I like the name, the cup of tea. How do you guys play your games? How do you guys do your coding? How do you guys do your tech? Do you do it with a cup of tea or a cup of coffee? Cup of coffee. Or water. Some people are religious about water oh. nowadays. Oh, yeah, true. They yeah, like do you filter your water? Or like, okay, are we going to unbox this today? All right, today we have not? got some people saying, okay. please, 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 <laughs> get on with it. And uh, Salvatore is saying, did you also buy the wireless charger to try MagSafe? Oh, man. No. What's MagSafe? Uh, oh, okay. The, the, the wireless charger. 
The guy did offer, um, he said, uh, do you want to charge her with that? <laughs> I was like, you're not charging me for a charger, Bye. mate. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, okay, let's unbox it. Let's do right? it. Yeah. But you got to be a bit cognizant because the serial number is on there. Okay. And these people might be doing something dodgy. So let's, let's show you the phone, unbox it. You, you're gonna, let's do it. Okay, the ladies, let's do it. So you can it. see we've got this beautiful black iPhone box and I am going to just peel off the underside. No! Like, How do you peel it off? There! Oh my yeah, goodness! There, 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 All there, right, there. so there we have it like so and uh, just peeling it off. Woo! Look at that. Oh, oh Apple do not fail guys, when they come to their packaging. Oh, look at that. Up close and personal. Look at this. Is that it, is nice. Is this not a spaceship? It's either a spaceship or a magic mouse. I'm thinking magic mouse. Magic mouse! I miss the magic mouse! Yes! Mouse! mouse. It looks like a magic mouse. You're so it looks right. Like a magic mouse. <laughs> All right. Enough of that, Lynn. Now let's go on to opening up the oh, gorgeous la, la. Oh, box. Okay, I'm excited oh, for this. Ooh. It's kind of cute that it's in a small oh. box, you know. Oh! Really? <laughs> it's a different gold. Okay, this looks different, oh. yes. Oh, it is yeah. slightly lighter. Oh. It's, yeah. Should I take it yeah. out so you guys can show see? These guys. Look at that. Look at it that. is a slightly different oh. color. It looks almost white. Oh. oh, the gold on the side looks nice. Look oh, at that. Yes. Oh, yes. Thank you, Apple. They yes. heard my cries yes. and they fixed it up. Okay, guys. Can you guys see okay, that? Okay, guys, can legit. They they, they, you, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, I'll, do, I'll show them again. They didn't see them again. it. Show them again. Show them again. That is a gorgeous look. gold. Oh, look at oh. oh, look at it. Oh, look at it. Reflects. You know what? That is actually very oh, sexy. Okay, okay, guys. Yeah, I'm, I'm guys, purely on the fashion of the iPhone 11. They fixed this. I told you. I didn't even know what this looked like. I said to you guys, it looked bad before. Is it fingerprint magnets? Oh, yes. 100% yeah, fing fingerprint yes. C. Fingerprints.com. Fingerprint C, look at that. Fingerprints right here. Look at that. I'm just, uh, you, I don't know if you can see it or not. Like, let me know if you can see it. Look at that. Definitely fingerprint city. Yeah, but it does look like it. I just, I saw the, oh, on the front. Look at that. It's fully covered up. 100% it's white. Well, no, they used to put plastic on the front, didn't they? Now they've just got this white yeah. opaque. You know, Apple have really changed. Interesting. Yeah. They're Interesting. No, now no longer a $1 billion, trillion dollar company. They're a $2 trillion <laughs> company. So rather than using plastic, they now use cheaper paper. <laughs> so they're making well, their money. they're more like eco-friendly. Because you know the whole vibe with this phone was that they want to be environmentally friendly. So perhaps that's why they put paper instead of plastic, because paper is you know, recyclable. A vibe is the excuse to make money. Oh yeah, we care about the so environment, we so we're not giving you, you a charge. Charger or charges. headphones, yeah. you can buy them instead. Yeah. <laughs> like you still pretty, need a charger much, and headphones, right? Pretty much what's going on. Guys, we yes. have now fully unboxed it now. Do you want to see what's underneath the iPhone? Ooh. Or do you want to see what the iPhone looks like with the screen? Ooh, I'm gonna say let's tease them, let's show them what's underneath. Go okay. on. What do we do? Oh my gosh, under here. Yeah. You know what? I'm actually surprised. What because are you surprised? I thought that they weren't gonna give us any cables. So you get a cable. You, you actually get a cable. You get a USB C to lightning cable. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, there you go. So I thought, you know, I had my one ready because I thought I honestly thought that Apple were being cheapskates, and so I got my one ready, but I don't need it anymore. You get a sticker, look at it, check the sticker cool. out. I don't know if you can see that oh, or not. Who uses their Apple stickers? I want to know. Yeah, put Where your do hands you put up. Them? Put your hands up. Tell us and in then the comment section below. There's also a bit of terms and conditions, which your friend, your boy AC, is going to read for you. Okay, look at his like uh, old man spectacles. Yes. Welcome. Before using your iPhone, review the iPhone user guide at support.apple.com forward slash guide forward slash iPhone. You can you also use Apple Books to download the guide where available. Retain documentation for future reference. Uh -huh. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> Exposure to radio frequency. Whoa. Can I just say something? <laughs> On this the first is, page. But this is so small. Like who and you're having to get your spectacles out just so you On can the read first it. page right there. There you go. We'll just uh, if it's just, it's, uh, you know, the, the good about these guys, they let you know. So I'm going to see what they say. It is good. In order to find out about exposure to a radio frequency, it says on iPhone, go to settings, general, legal, and regulatory, RF exposure, or go to apple.com forward slash legal forward slash RF exposure. There you go. And then uh, they have a big, big chunk of text about battery and charging, <laughs> how to avoid hearing damage. Oh my goodness. Medical device interference. iPhones contain magnets that may interfere with medical devices. Did they ever say that before in the past? Yeah, I swear this no is, one reads this. No, but this piece of paper was not in a previous box. Are you, did you read this? Never. Never. <laughs> <laughs> I never actually noticed it before. Has anybody else out there noticed this piece of paper and, before? And uh, leg regulatory, they got some stuff. So pretty much the, the first one oh, is uh, download the user guide. Second one is 
you know, know how to hold it, safety and handling. Third one is RF exposure. Read the manual for that one. And the fourth one's about battery. They can explode maybe. Yeah, but I'm just going to say something. Like, who honestly? No, it's, 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 it's so tiny. It says you may damage the battery, which could cause, cause overheating, fire and injury. Guys, oh, don't read this slip. You're gonna disclaimers are scary. Yeah, yeah, just go don't, innocent don't, and don't, don't know anything. You know. Yeah, don't, yeah, don't. I recommend just don't do anything. No, no, you should read these things. Play with the sticker. Look at this. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, you took the fire out the sticker. You took the fire out the sticker with the teeth marks. Don't, don't worry about what's inside here. Just yeah, yeah. move on. Move on with your life. Hey, I need, I need to pick it up. What are we doing now? Okay. The um, phone. We've got some questions. Oh, okay, questions. Question time. It's question time. Heads of tech. Saying, Unbox fast. Where is the charger adapter? Show the phone, not the manual guide. See, <laughs> see this guy. He knows his stuff. He's he's a yeah. smart dude. What's he his knows. name? Munch. Banch. 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 Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh. This is. I got. I got to say, it's very reflective. The only thing I would say is also it's very smudgy. Like I'm just oh touching my God, it. And it's, it's terrible. It's smudge. See, you're gonna need a yeah. case for this. Oh, it's really bad, actually. Yeah. Oh, it's actually, it's, it's really it's, bad. It's I really can bad. these guys see? I don't think they can appreciate oh, you, you it. Guys, uh, let me just get it them. close. It, yeah, it's so can smudgy. You see that? It's just so smudged up. Oh, that is so ugly. It was so nice when it came out of the box. At least this one isn't noticeable because it's dark. You don't notice yeah, the maybe, smudges. It's right. just scenes. Oh, dear. Oh, guys, dear. guys. Oh, dear. Oh, oh, dear. oh, dear. I me. thought. Yeah, it was nice when it came out of the box. You know, shiny. It, it's all right. Because Why? now you've got a reason to buy the iPhone 13. Hey, and you know, th is there going to be a 13? Probably not. Why not? Because 13 is a scary number, isn't oh, it? So they're going to make a 14. They're probably going to do an iPhone 13 or 12S. 11 Maybe. Pro. No, they did 11 Maybe. Pro. 12. Is there going to be an iPhone 13? Maybe do a number 9. Maybe do an iPhone 5G Pro. Oh, God. 9. Why don't they like 9? Nine? 9's a cool nine number. A cool Anyone number. plays football, or as you guys like to call it in the rest of the world, Soccer. the undeveloped world, in Australia and America, soccer. Number nine is a cool number. It means you're a striker. That means you're the cool dude. Are we meant to be unboxing this phone or yes, not? Yes, but I'm going to say something to you. Van Le Ventus Lab has just joined the group. Who Hello. is Ventus Lab? Ventus Lab Popoff. How do you not know him? Oh, that dude. That What's dude? that? How you been? I, I see him. He's like a green monster, right? Yes, he's a green. Yeah, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He I says you need to wash it. How? You no, you so probably need one of these microfiber. Micro no, but you probably need a special one because if you use the wrong one, what's going to happen? It. It's going to scratch it. Apple care. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. All right, guys. Oh, wait. DMS oh, okay, says, okay. yes, it will be 12S. 12S? Tw yeah. 12S. 12S. S. 12S. 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 I, I think these guys want to see. They're saying, wow, it's so cool, an iPhone 12 Pro. Let's unbox it. Okay, they want to see it. Let's see. Let's, 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 okay. Go on. Oh, you got to do it. No, no, get the camera ready. Oh, they need sorry. to see yeah, the okay. camera. Okay, good. We got... Guys, guys <laughs> please. you got to give respect, right? This is like the heads of tech, and we're bringing you not just one camera here. We've got a camera up there. we got even a co-host who's telling me that to use the right camera <laughs> here. So a proper production city up on this we channel. Like, subscribe, we share. We've you got know. so many props to you guys. I can see comments saying, test this, test that. Guys, we have got so many props, props. on our desk right now. Yeah, We're going to just bombard props. you with everything yeah. that you want to know. Bomb about anything you want to know, you want to see it done, let us know. Let we'll do know. it doing it live. We're staying here all night. Woo. We're doing an all night session. We're listening to the grooves of Heads of Tech. We're talking about the smooth sounds. We've already showed you the smudginess. I mean, I haven't actually watched any single review of the iPhone so far. I've learned my lesson. Back in the day, I used to watch the reviews. Now I realize they're all paid. They're, they're sponsored. Paid. They're fake. If anyone releases a review before it's actually for sale, that means they've been bribed. There's been a backhand agreement. So I don't actually watch any of them anymore. Please let me know what they say so I can make sure I can on this channel. <laughs> I'm not doing a drop test. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, let's do it. You want to do it? Yes. Okay, you got to do it. Okay. Oh, camera, good. camera. Stop, stop, camera. stop, stop. Whoa, 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 whoa. Camera. We got to show the camera. It's changed. I've the camera changed. Cha has it changed? It's changed, Just yeah. Is it the same as the old no. one? No, where's the old one? Oh, there's, there's the, the old one. Look at that. Guys, this is an in-depth oh. review. Can you tell the difference? Oh, yes. Look at that. Look oh, at that. yes. Look at the, the little one. It's gotten slightly this is bigger. bigger. Yeah. yeah, there you go. The placement of the, the, the things are still in the same place. It's very though. similar. I just can't get over the color. It's changed. Yeah. It's so different. It looks white. It's, it's nice. It's nicer. But I do like I it. I do like the gold, you know. Oh, but this is. But let the camera look. The dot has gotten slightly bigger dot. That's why it's new. You see, you see that dot pointing out? Yes. 
This one here. Yeah, look how big it this is. This one here look is huge. Look at that, look at that. Compared to that one there. You see, you see, you guys thought you are tuning into some channel that didn't know the tech. I know, but you know what, Ash? We were heads of tech in right these, here. These yeah, guys yeah. are loving it. Vanch has come back, he's saying, you look very pro on Boxer. Oh, there you go, What's pro on Boxer. What about the sides? We got to look at the sides, guys, because they've changed the aerials. Yes. So let's, let's see exactly Ooh. what they've done with the sides. So the, the, the button here, look, it's, it's wider. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is more flush. Oh, okay. This one's way more flush. Can you see that? Maybe the, yeah. you need to like okay. tilt it. Maybe you hold one. Maybe I'll hold, hold one. Yeah, there you go. One. So guys, you guys look at it. This, this button here, it's more flush. It just flows. Whereas put your finger over that one, it's more bumpy. Yes. Oh, it's yuck. 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 It, it, yuck. Feels, it feels... There you go. It feels all right, actually. I'm, I'm not going to slate let's, it down Let's much. turn around the other side. No, 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 no. Let's, let's investigate because there's antenna there's gate is coming. Here. There's so a let's line see, there's here. a line. Let's see, like, see that line. I'm going to try and just flick it in the camera. There you go. I don't know if you can see that. There's a line, line happening over here. Other side. Okay, we're going on the other side. Let's see the other side. Oh, Ooh. we got the oh, volume so buttons. Smudgy. Volume buttons. Oh, the, the sim's gone on the left. Look at that. Oh, the slim. Look at it's that. moved. Before it used to be on this side, but now it's on this side, the left side. Look at that. And what about the mute? Is that still red? Is that still orange? Yes, yes still orange. Still orange. Still got a bit of... Um, is it thicker, do you think? I feel like it is thicker. Uh, maybe it's just more square. Mm. It's hard to tell. It is thicker. It's look, look put tell. it on top, put it on top. Yeah, maybe yeah. it's slightly thicker, isn't it's slightly it? It's slightly thicker. thicker. Oh, it's and it's bigger. Thicker. Maybe we can do is it, it like is it bigger? this way. Yes, it looks bigger, doesn't it? Yes. yes, it is bigger. It's no, and it's been working. So, yeah. Oh well, <laughs> so I guess that one then. So, <laughs> I'm going to ask my co-host yes. to hopefully unbox it because okay. I need to plug the charger in the laptop. Oh, so, if you can handle okay. the show, do you All think right, you guys. can handle the show? <laughs> Let me know <laughs> in the conversation below. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're right, you otherwise, might win something. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to stream this anymore. So. By the way, guess yes. what I'm wearing? What is this? What you got, you what got you your radiation for a t-shirt on. Where, where's mine? You're so mean. How mean is he right now? He's protected himself, but like I'm out here all in the open it's with this not on you. It's not on you. Well, it might be on you, don't know. It might all be right. listening to us right now. All right, guys, are you ready for the ultimate unveiling of the screen of the iPhone 12? For this, I really do think, yes, it is no big deal. It is bigger and thicker, but I feel like I need the overhead camera for this. I'm just going to wait for my co-host to come back and just switch me over. Thank you so much, Mr. Co we are live. This is all live. Okay, so here we go. So this is the live unveiling of the screen. As you can see, oh my goodness me. Look at that. That is gorgeous. The thing with Apple, it always looks nice on the day that you get it, but you kind of put fingerprints on it. Should I do the fingerprint test? Okay, I'm going to do it. She's doing it. Do oh yeah, smudge. Smudge City, there you go guys. You got it. You've seen it here first. It's smudgy. That is that just hurts my feelings. Why is it smudgy? Feelings okay. have been hurt on this feelings channel. Feelings are hurting. <laughs> it's similar to this one. This one was so smudgy as well. Like I don't know if you can tell that as well. Super smudge. Smudge central. Okay, what else have we got here? So the microphone looks about the same size as the old one. The camera looks exactly the same as well. It just looks a lot bigger than the other one. Hey, he's back. I You've did it. Got power. Yeah, look, if you can see, I look plugged in that. the charger. Look at Secret. that. Secret. Oh my God. Oh, Is that the phone? Yes. Okay, okay. I want to see the notch. I want to see the notch. Okay, go I'm on. going to show you how I'm looking at it because she's been shocking. Okay, no, 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 let me hold one. Go on. Okay, I want to see the notch. What do we do? So, what do we do? No, no, just point it. Let's see. Oh, ooh, it feels different around the back. It does feel yeah. different, doesn't it? It's like ooh. a different material, like maybe ceramic. Is it ceramic? I'm not sure. They're both the same. You I'm know, not it's sure. not that big difference, but smudge city. Has yes, the notch it is. got different? Can you turn it on? Oh yeah, let's do it. Okay, we're gonna turn it on, guys. Okay, wait, 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 w
Okay, there's one way to find out. Measure it. <laughs> no, turn it on. Okay, go on, go on, go on. turn it on. All right, there. okay, overhead camera, please. Okay, overhead camera. We are opening up the overhead for the camera. Are you guys excited? Is this going to be turning you yeah. on as well as turning the camera phone it's, on? It's so cute that we're sharing this experience with you. Yeah. <laughs> Is it? No, 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 no. Right. it's fun. Okay, one, countdown, countdown, countdown. Yeah, I'll tell you something. I, I, I tapped it and it didn't work, so I think you have oh. to hold it. You you'd okay. made that mistake in the past. So make sure you don't so tap I'm it. I'm holding it right now. Okay, one, two, three. Three, four, four Woo! seconds. You got to hold it down for four seconds and then boom, the Apple logo is on the screen. It's I'm excited. Awesome. You're excited. She's excited. I'm We're excited. all excited here. I'm excited. Like, I want to I, I, I turn this Advantage guy on. Advantage is excited. Yeah, Everyone's goes. excited. Everyone's excited right now. Pradeep says, let's Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Can you guys see it? Should I just turn it around? No, so they can, see, oh, it. You can, can see, see it. That's the right way. That's the right way. You see, okay. on this channel, we thought about the production, made Amazing. sure that the camera so is fun. our way. So you guys see it the right way. You see that? Look that. Amazing. Look, see that? The only thing to do is like maybe like do something like that. Oh, yes. Oh, bonjour. There you go. Hey, there you go. Patrick from France, bonjour. Yeah. If you understand that, let us know. <laughs> I don't know what language that is. Chat wow, Mandarin, that's if a house out there. over there. Okay, and it's so off again. Okay, so what so, do we do? Let's so go we've on. learned that they only care about English, French, Chinese, and the other one. Yeah, the other one that we missed. The, one, the ones. Well, missed. and then it timed out, and then, and then it went off. Yeah, and then it was like, enough. Shall we actually oh, do we do, this? We're doing it again. We're doing this. Okay, we're doing we're doing this. Yeah. I'm going to turn it on this okay, time. Okay, come on. So I'm going to swipe up. <gasps> oh, that's new. <laughs> 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 All right, well, guys, which language should we use today? Let us know. Well, we could use Italian and use someone to help yeah, us if, out. Yeah, if you guys Salvatore, are willing, maybe you I'm help willing us. to do something different. I want to see what it looks like on a different language. It might be right to left instead of left to right. Let's do it. Maybe Siri will be called Iri. Oh, uh, someone's saying our camera is on the opposite position, Ash. Oh, my God. That's true. Yeah, there you my go. Goodness. Okay, All right. so as usual, Oh, look at that. It suggested oh, Australia. That's nice. So it, it knows that we are in Australia and it suggested Australia as the number one language. See, before, well, yes. maybe, maybe not recently before, but back in the day, Afghanistan was the number one country to go to. It but was. now, look, 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 Australia. Australia. Selecting, Australia. setting language right now. Oh, quick, quick start. start. So do you want to quick start your phone or do you want to set out manually? Guys, this is a think? critical decision. Mm. Because you either quick start it or you set up manually. You only get to do this once unless you have to reset the phone. What should we do? Quick start or manual? Let us know in the conversation below right now before we get going. What do you think? What's the best thing to do? I don't know. <laughs> let's, let's try just, manual. Let's just do it. I'll do manual. There you go. Oh, you got to put in a Wi-Fi network. So you got you to still log into Wi-Fi or Mac or PC. So that's a shame. I'll do, I'll do, I'll log into my Wi-Fi. I've got to do this okay, privately because so I don't want you guys to know my that, password. I'm just going to read, oh, Patrick's in Russia. Russia. Oh, he wants Russian. Patrick wants Russian. <laughs> Patrick, if you can speak Russian, let's do it. Das vidanya. Um, Strasvoyti menyazvut Nora. Das vidanya. What does that mean? Hello, my name is Nora in Russian. Wow, how did you know that? I'm, I had a Russian friend. There was, another, there was another word she taught me, but I've forgotten it now. Was it she? She, yeah, Oy, she. Was she's she actually like Armenian. European. Like, you know, Kim Kardashian. Yo! Yeah. I just realized that she now. was Kim Kardashian. <laughs> she wasn't Kim Kardashian, but she was Armenian and she spoke Russian. But Kim Kardashian is Armenian as well. Don't know why I'm saying this to you guys, but you no, know, just, just tell us more about these amazing stories. Um, oh, this is a funny one. Pradeep says because the mirror. He says I can't tell if the camera mirror if the camera is mirrored or is it just because we're down under. All right, oi, oi, oi. Five oi. stars to you. That's you know, a great comment. We live next to kangaroos. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we it's see them. So they bop, they're on a construction site. They they come around in their little gang and they just bop around, Literally. check out the what's, what's going on, and then yeah. they, they bop away. But interestingly, did you guys know that whilst Ash is setting this up, kangaroos are actually considered as a pest here down under. Yeah, there there's are too many of them. Too many of them. Too For many. every one Australian person, there are two kangaroos, and we're not talking about cute little cute cute things. These things are like big, 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 muscly muscly six foot tall animals and they literally cause dents in cars they can kill people if you hit I once them. saw one he had a six pack and he had big <laughs> but he looked like so he looked a like you. no he looked like a young Mike Tyson he scared me but before wow. we finish that story I gotta yes. do one test okay What's that? it's gonna switch the camera head test and I okay. kind of missed this test does this phone wobble oh yeah. Oh. Yeah, it does. Wobble, see. It does. Wobble, it does. wobble. It does. Wow, look at that at the top it left. Does. Oh, can you hear that, guys? Let's see. Which one has the worst wobble? Go let's on, then. Let's, let's, let's see. Go guys, on. 
full on test on this channel, okay? Worst wobble. Do you guys think it's the 11 Pro or do you think it's the 12? I Let's know. know. Let's know. We're going to do it. Okay. Ash, I'm loving your beats. I'm loving your beats right now. There you go. Mm. It's got built-in garage, garage, <laughs> garage vans. Garage vans <laughs> it's, it's on in the there. table. All right, let me get back into this thing. Okay, data and privacy. Data and privacy. It says the icon appears. Yeah, you guys know how to set up iOS. So I'm just gonna click on continue. Face ID, no. Do we want to do face ID? I don't know, do we? Okay, let's do it. Oh, we're gonna do it. Right, let's do it. We're get, do we're it. doing face ID, guys. Okay, go okay, on then. And position your face within the frame. Move your head slowly to complete the circle. <laughs> let's get these guys to do our face ID. Guys, <laughs> you guys want to do our face ID? Zoom session. All right, let's do it. Let's continue it. We're doing the second scan. Make sure you move your head. Move your head right move, now, guys. Move your head. Move, move your head. It, yeah, move. move it, we move need. It. <laughs> you want to unlock the phone? <laughs> move your head. I'll do my face. It's gonna say it won't recognize you. It said, it's, it's complete. complete. It worked. It worked. There you go. We got face, face ID complete. now. This is so much fun. We got to create a passcode. One, two, three, four, five, <gasps> six. Shh! Don't tell them. Use it. <laughs> one. I'm gonna change this passcode. So you guys, you guys can hack this one. Hack this one. Man, I don't know about you. I might return hack this. this. You have to. It's the worst it's passcode ever. At least it lets you use that passcode. Yeah. So it's doing something. Now we can, we give you the option. Look at this, options, option C. We like options. Do you want to restore from iCloud backup? Do you want to restore from Mac or PC? Like there's a difference. Do you want to transfer directly from iPhone? Do you want to move data from Android? Or don't transfer apps and data? Don't transfer apps and data. Because I don't really want to set up right now. I think these guys want to just see us get into it. You know, I might actually really? restore. How long is it going to take? Well, I don't know. We've should I set up we've... for me or should I set up for you? Just. You, maybe. Quicker. Okay, someone, okay, someone okay. quick. I'm going to do restore from backup. Okay, let's do it. I'm going to read some more comments because you guys are hilarious out there. Um, let's see. Oh, Buff Shamans is saying his one comes on Wednesday. Congratulations. Oh, Which one did you buff. go for? You sound buff, Buff. I Shaman. can't wait to hear what you went for. Um, Van just asking how much did this phone cost? I think it was, what was oh, it? Oh, it's so Australian expensive. Australian dollars. 2,500. 2,500. 2,500. It's quite steep. It's quite not, steep. Not 1,000. Oh, well, Buff Shannon said his one was $1,400 Canadian. Okay, yeah, well, we're really Australian, good. so they rip us off. You guys are doing good. Yeah, even though the Australian dollars do really well, because, you know, we're doing well over here, the, yeah. they decided to, you know, uh, hawk us. Are we going to use a case? 100%. Like, if I'm going to keep this phone, there's no way in hell that I'm letting that two. Thousand five hundred dollars just. I'm actually getting a case sent, sent over. Are I don't you know when it's going to come. Someone said they're going to send so me a not, case. So we're not going to take this out on the road until the case has arrived, basically. There's no way I could use. I always use a case with my iPhone because it just hurts my feelings. Stop the press. What's that? We have terms and conditions. <laughs> terms and conditions. T -t terms and conditions. T -t -t terms and conditions. T -t -t terms. And conditions. conditions, terms and conditions is what you need to read. Boom, 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 boom. So we have read the terms and conditions and we just got to click agree. Have you actually read them? Does anybody ever read them? Oh, that's it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> See, most, you know, sophisticated people, they force you to scroll at least to the bottom. <laughs> it's true. Before you agree. They, they used to do that. Apple used to do that. These guys know that their terms and conditions are like, <laughs> you agree that we can spy on you whenever yeah. we feel like oh, it. God. I never said it was in there. I just said, quote, someone might put that in. Make sure you read. T -t -t Terms. And conditions. Terms and conditions. So we got right here is, um, I'm restoring from a backup, so this may take like a little bit. Okay. My phone was backed up yesterday. Oh, that's handy. So there you go. That's really handy. Now, do I want to enable location? Yeah, let's do it, man. Enable yeah. location services. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do location services. Now, do we want to add Apple Pay? Do you guys want to add Apple Pay? Who uses Apple Pay? I really want to know. Guys. Who uses it? Send us your credit card numbers. I'll test out your Apple Pay for you. We'll take it on the road. Yeah, just right in the right chat. In right, right in it. 
Run in. Run in, Jack. <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, well for, for our tests, you know, unfortunately, we don't have a credit card here that we can use. If you guys want to give us your uh, credit card details yep. and yep. authorization. Yeah. 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 But I don't actually know anybody who uses an Apple Pay. I might just be with a very primitive set of people. You're not sophisticated enough. But yeah, I'm sure somebody out there is using Apple Pay. Now, Let me know. Do you want to use Siri? Yeah, go, yeah on. go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. You guys. <laughs> hey, Siri. Hey, Siri, send the message. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Siri, how's the weather today? It's currently partly cloudy and 22 Hey, degrees. Siri, set a it's timer for. Sky starting tonight. Hey, Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey Siri, play some music. It wants to demonetize this channel. Oh no, that's lucky. Okay. Now we gotta ask Siri something. So we gotta hold and press the button to talk to Siri. I don't wanna do that right now. So continue, continue. Improve Siri dictation. Now this is saying, are you comfortable with us, you know, taking your voice and uh, processing it? No, no, I'm not comfortable. No. Do not share analytics. Denied. Now there is, oh yeah. There is a reason why you may not want to share your voice data and your analytics for performance reasons. Because how is your data going to be shared to Apple? I'll tell you how. In the background, it's going to be sending the data to Apple whenever they choose to have the data sent to them. So if you don't want, you know, all this, you know, constant communication back to Apple's factories or less of it, you can just disable that stuff. But if you guys want to help out Apple, go ahead for it. All right. So it's now saying I need to um, do something. Oh, I need your password. Oh, you don't know your password. I'm skipping oh the skip. God, I don't know my password. <laughs> no. Nori is the most complicated no. password ever. She just doesn't Why, know. Then, one, four, seven, five, six. Don't I'm say it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's now restoring from the iPhone. Now, while it is restoring, is there anything you guys want us to do? Oh I have an iPhone 8 right here. They all want a radiation test. Uh, really? Yes. All of them. <laughs> well, actually, Lakshman has joined the show. Lakshman, hey, how are you doing? He says, restoring from backup takes about two hours. I hope not. We're going to be in for a long run. No, no, no. It's, it's going really fast, guys. It's, going look, fast. it's, it's already fast. It's like at least worry. 20%. Don't worry. So they want to do at this stage. Okay, this stage, I'm, I'm connected to Wi Fi, so I got one of these things. We, we'll we'll oh, do a fairer it. test in a second because I'll go on You've speed got, test like, so many different and I'll test here. all the phones on Wi-Fi and then I'll test it using 4G. I'm not using 5G. I don't want Telstra to know that there's a 5G cable phone here. I was actually tempted to do this off site. Actually, I am off site. Telstra, we don't want your cell towers here. Go somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Charles is asking for an EMF test, please. Okay, Charles, we got this it right one's here. for you and also for Don Burge. So and right can now, can guys see it? They can't see Ash, the, the overhead uh, it, camera. It's about six milliwatts per meter squared. Oh, let's see, let's see what's going on. Go about 10 to 60, 50, 55. It's about 50 milliwatts per meter squared. But you know, to be honest, all the phones You're are right. here. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's, let's move some of the That's phones That's not off. a fair test, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Just ignore this. Let me take uh, okay, these Okay, you take away. the phones, we'll do I'm it one by one. I'm going to put them conveniently in a very far away location. Okay, this, so there's less interference. This guy is resetting. So while he's resetting, I don't know if you can see, you can't see the screen. Like, I'm just going to tell you the numbers. You're going to have to just believe me, believe me, or wait until the official EMF testing video. Hopefully someone else can do this out there so I don't get attacked for it. Every single time I do a simple test, I always get flagged. I don't know why. Oh man, that's <laughs> I'm just doing this. It's, it's, it's not me, it's the meter. It's not me, it's the meter. It's Mate? true. Okay, it's no. not you. Literally, you can't put any numbers in. All right, so right now, it's 36. So the, the screen is resetting and I'm getting 36. Now guys, uh, uh, I'm going to say a few things. I'm using um, this, this, this transmitter here. She's using that I'm transmitter using here. We've got an well. iPad over there. We've got a Mac over there. We are going to be doing some tests. I'm going to be comparing it with the iPhone 8 in this position and the Note and the iPhone 11. But just remember, there is a bit of background radiation here. So make sure you subscribe for the full test where we'll get it like, like in its own little chamber, minimal radiation about. But as an idea, we're getting around 40 What does that to, mean, Ash? I don't want to say anything because I don't want this stream to go off. But I'm just going to, you guys know what you how, mean. How much is a microwave? So I'm just going to go over here. For example, <laughs> this is my laptop, yeah? I don't know if you can see it. But this one right next to the antenna yes. of the laptop, it's going five. And this laptop is live streaming the data to YouTube. YouTube servers getting the data and it's at five over here. When five I, milliwatts. Yeah, when I put it over here next to the iPhone, it's at 30, 35 right now. 
So five, we're live streaming the laptop. 35, Apple and the iPhone is doing something. I, I think enough has been said on that So, one. so that's 40. I think... So it's eight times more yeah. than a live stream to YouTube on your laptop. But you know, we're gonna do some proper tests soon and the screen is off right now and it's still going 40. So I think it might be related to the Bluetooth issue. In the description, I've got a video called how to fix iPhone's settings. And basically when you disable Bluetooth, it stops Apple's you know, um, new system where it's constantly trying to find near Bluetooth devices. So it might just be the Bluetooth antennas okay. active right but I, now. I'm looking forward to your in-depth you know, non-adulterated. Adulterated. Adulterated. Non-adulterated. We've got a request oh, in saying, can we check the weight of the 12 and the 11? Yeah, we can. We can actually. Well, where do you hide the scales? I can go and grab the scales if you're happy to hold on. Okay, I'll hold on. Hold on. Okay, we're gonna, I'm back very we're gonna go live. Hopefully we're not gonna trip any these cables. Don't so guys, I'm gonna do something magical with you guys since you're here. I'm gonna show you what happens when you turn the screen on. Are you excited about this one? I can't actually see what you're saying. Actually, maybe I can see. Please check the weight. Compared to iPhone 4, that would be an amazing comparison, but for now, we're gonna turn the screen on, let's see. Ah, look at that. It's still got a big, massive bezel. Where's your iPhone 12? Where's your iPhone 11? All right, I'm coming there. Okay, here. we're gonna get an iPhone 11, but I'm seeing a massive bezel around the screen. So for me, that looks a bit pretty uggers. Like, for example, my Note 10, if I can find it. Do you have my Note 10? Uh, oh, yes. she does. She stole all the phone. Yeah, my Note 10 here is like an edge display. Look, 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 look at this. Look at the bezels on this guy. There's nothing going on on this phone, whereas this guy has a massive bezels. Now this phone is two years old. It's the old Note, and it's a big, massive, nice screen. This one, Bezel City. We're gonna compare it with the iPhone 11 Pro. Let's see right there. Has the bezels improved whatsoever? They have. They've actually hey, gotten sli slightly, slimmer. slightly slimmer, but nice. millimeter, that's millimeter nice. slimmer. There you go. Breaking hey, news. That's good. Break, I'm happy about break, that. Breaking news. Breaking news. Don't do that. We have, Don't do that. So as popular demand as requested in the chat live right now, we're doing a weight test. We're so, doing a weight test. So we're going to be testing first to get you guys excited. We're testing the iPhone 8. We just have to get this down to zero. <laughs> I need to press zero. Oh, there you go. Awesome. Oh, zero. All right, this one is for you, Vanch. You've requested for the check the weight of the 12 and the 11 and the difference. Okay, let's do this. So zero mode, zero. zero. Okay. Uh, overhead camera, we're overhead on. Overhead camera, of So the iPhone 8. eight. The iPhone 8, 148. 148. 148 grams. Okay, guys. Do, now, do the, the iPhone 11. 11 Pro, 256 gigabytes, 187. So that's heavier, right? That's heavier. Yeah. That was 148, 148 right? 48. 140, 147. Versus 187. 187. Okay. Guys, so for, so this that, is the 12 Pro. I think that's Pro. going to be more heavier than... So 187 is the number we want to beat. Do you guys think it'll be more or less? Let us know in the chat. You might win a phone. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you, yeah, you don't, might do. Don't no, reset, no, you have to reset it. it. Now you reset it. Now we've got to do the okay, test now, all again. Okay, go. Okay, we'll do the 11 again, <laughs> just to make sure. 188. 188. One, so it's 187, 188. Go this on. Is the iPhone 12 Pro Edition. 187. Oh, it's the same. It's the same. Vanch, it's the same. Vanch, it's the same. The weight is the same. They've slimmed down the bezels and made it the same. That's really interesting. Wow. It's slightly bigger, but the same weight. Does that mean they made the battery smaller? That's actually interesting because how, do, how is it bigger but yet the same weight. It must have less stuff inside, or maybe this metal, the curved edges was weighty. Maybe it's the 5G chipset, it's lighter and faster maybe it's and better. the material that they're using. There you go. Maybe it's the Paper maybe inside. It's like <laughs> <laughs> they didn't want to get environmentally friendly. Guys, let us know why you guys think it is the same weight, even though it's slightly bigger, slight, ever so slightly bigger, Easy. and it has a smaller bezel. But is the touch, is the face ID? Any bigger or smaller, what do you think? It looks the same to me. Oh, that's the same. The notch is the same exactly size. Exactly the same notch. The notch is the same. Notch. You have to get the thing oh, on. Oh, DJ. Okay, why don't you hold I'll it? Hold I'll, I'll, I'll hold this for you. I'll hold this for you. All right, what do you guys think about the notch? I personally Wrong way think... around. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I personally think the notch looks about the same. Did you just scratch the display? I might have. You just scratched the display. I might have scratched the display. Hold it closer. I'll turn them both oh on. Oh gosh, this is actually Okay, I'll hold fiddly. one, you this hold one. This is very fiddly. Okay. All right, let's see what you guys think about that. Okay. Oh, what's going on? I think it's the, the same. I think it's the same. How much does it flash? Look, it's like yeah, dingle. flashing, it's weird. Pointing towards the camera. 
So it flashes in. Come on, let's turn it on. Look at that. Oh, Look your on, one's flashing more. Is that my one? Oh, no, oh, yeah. what's this one? This one, this is my one. Yeah. Yours flashes way more. Actually, let's do that wow. again. Let's do, do that okay, again. one, two, three. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. What? Why? It's always looking for something. Oh, uh, guys. Oh, my gosh. There you go. That's a bit of a revelation. Breaking news. <laughs> the iPhone 12 is a wow. flasher. It's constantly flashing its beams to scan as many faces as it can. Maybe it's got a faster face unlock. Weird. But I, I don't want it flashing me. I don't why know. It, I don't know. Kind of lasers in my face. Why is it constantly looking at you? Yeah. It's constantly lasering my face. Maybe sit in my eyes. Oh my eyes! I don't know if it hurts anything, but it's like twice, two or three times more. Maybe that it's faster. Unlock. Let's try it out. What did you guys make of that? That was really interesting. So now you're just going to test that Swipe to see to if unlock. you're. You didn't mind it. No, I got to use my passcode. All oh, right. Okay. Um, oh, the democracy says do an EMF on each other. Human versus iPhone comparison. Yeah, that's a really good one. I might do that. What else have we got? Oh, Max has come in. Max, welcome to the show. I think iPhone 12, more drain battery. Possible. We're okay. going to see what happens. Unlucky phone. Okay, you got to do passcode in private. Well, let me do it. Okay, we're going to do live a face unlock test together at the same time. So, okay. Okay, one, two, three. They both unlocked at the same time. Same do it again. time. Do again. One, two. Yeah, okay. same. Okay, let's do it above head same. so these guys can see. We're going to see. I don't know how they're going to do it, but let's do it. Ready? Yeah. You stand up for this one. Okay. One, two. Oh, sorry. Do it again. Okay. One, two. Hey. Oh, is that the 12 slightly that faster? That one's faster. Do again. Mm, do again. It's tricky, that. It's, it's the same. It's the, the same. same. I'm not the noticing same. any faster speeds the same. or any slowness with Face ID. So what else are we testing? So what else have we got, guys? We are... <laughs> Masigia says it's empty inside, that's why it's so light. Oh. I wouldn't, I wouldn't. Yeah, that's cool. Compare the radiation level to a Samsung. Try an EMF test with all radios on GPS, Wi Fi, Wi Fi hotspot, 4G network, etc. You know, I'm wearing my t shirt. I don't know what she's wearing. <laughs> I am not wearing your t shirt. I'm not wearing your t shirt. Shall we? Um, I'm going to go. Do? I'm going to do what a do speed want? test. What do you want? I'm oh, going to do a speed, speed test. test. Okay. And I'll also do it on your phone as well. Okay, cool. I like the idea of. Now, that. this is a Wi Fi speed test. So, has Wi Fi improved? Okay, let's at have all? a look. Let's see. <laughs> so, whilst Ash is doing that, what my first impressions for this? What do you guys think? I personally, I did like the gold trim. However, now that it's smudging, it doesn't look so pretty. It is whiter than it is gold, but I don't think that's a bad thing. What do you guys think about that? Let me know in the comment section below. Wobble test, you guys have also echoed what Ash has said. You're paying more money for wobbling. I don't know if that's a good thing. I think that personally is a bad thing. It surprisingly is the same weight as the iPhone 12, even though it's slightly bigger. The bezels are smaller. The notch is identical to the uh, iPhone 11. And generally, it just... Actually, it feels a bit more plasticky now that I'm playing with it a bit more. Just want to jump it around and see what happens. Maybe break it. <laughs> it's your phone. <laughs> um, what else is there? It, it feels good. Like... It's a different kind of feeling because the edges are quite harsh on your skin. So you're having to like feel this kind of cuboid rather than a smooth feel. So that could take some getting used to. All right, Ash is ready with the, uh, what are you up to? I'm doing a Wi-Fi speed test and obviously it's going to be limited to our Wi-Fi. And it might actually crash the stream because we're streaming. It's going to be fun. Let's see what happens. Good luck. Because you guys want to see this. They do. Okay, but before we start, we've got to do the obligatory wobble test. I just gotta love the iPhone 8. Love the 8. Okay, so you guys probably can't see this because it's way too bright. Maybe I'll hold the phone. You know, let's, can reduce I, the brightness. I, I, I'll tell you. Oh, good idea. Look at that. Can reduce Genius. The brightness. Genius over here. Yes. Brightness has been reduced. Don't know if it's any better. Don't know if it's any better. <laughs> but I'm we can hold it up. No, no, no. Let's okay, let's go go These guys, they know what's going on. Run speed test. Or iPhone 8 is first. Go. Okay, speed we're test getting. Happening. Getting 65 on the download and 70 on the download. That's pretty much as fast as this place can get. 72 on the download. Okay. And we're getting seven on the upload. That's and the iPhone this stream 8. might be breaking up because of all this uploading is going on. Seven on the upload. That's right, amazing. Let's see. let's see if the iPhone 12 Pro has gotten any better than the iPhone 8. 
We're still good. It's, it's still still doing its business. 7.18. Live stream right here. It's a live stream. You're getting it all here at the headset. Getting it all. Oh my God. All here. It's all here. It's, it's all happening. It's really uploading. It's you guys its, are lucky we've it unboxed it. We're giving you our first impressions. We're showing you the camera quality. We're going to show them camera quality. Cap oh. That's what we oh, need to guys, do. Guys, we're going to be doing camera a camera quality. test. Uh, this guy doesn't want to finish, so I'm just going to finish it for you. All He's right. about seven on the upload. I'm going to try the 12 Pro. 12 Pro. Is he any faster? Woo. Look at that. He's going 70 as well. 66. It's That's slower. Lower. Less. Except, no, 71. 70. Still good. 72. Ooh. Uploading. Oh, oh uploading is better. it went to nine. Much 9.8. Okay, that's see, better on than the, the only eight. eight, it only got to seven. On, oh, it went to ten. Ten. It went to a whole ten on the upload. That was good. That's pretty good. And now, has it improved from the 11 Pro? About to find out. Come on, let's do it. And on the 11 Pro. Struggling. Oh, oh, oh seven, no, it's gone. 72, so same, 72, same, same, 70, same. 70, 70 on the down. 73, 74. Whoa. What? What? 74, 74 on, on the download. So it's slower. Okay, on the upload, it it's is a bit, slower. it's like it's six, slower. science 6.8. That's, that's rubbish, my mate. Rubbish, 6.9. worse than this guy. You know, I think it's just temperamental depending on what all the other devices are up to. <laughs> true, true. <laughs> Having well, a bit of fun though. So what should we test out next? What do you guys want to see how powerful the processor is? Do you want to do some geek benches? Do you want to do some gaming? Do you want to see some camera quality? I want to see the camera personally, but what do you guys want to see? I think what you guys want to see is us picking up the iPhone 12 one more time while we have a quick break. Yes. Yeah, it's just a one minute break. And I guys got to tell you, we went to Brisbane's finest mall of, that had Apple inside it. And the queues, you wouldn't believe the length of the queues. It was just the staff un couldn't handle it. unbelievable, the amount of queues. So make sure you watch this video and enjoy it. Oh, it's black. We didn't actually go in the shop, which is probably a good thing because we didn't have to wear an obligatory mask. But I have to say, for a new iPhone release, there weren't actually that many customers. There was more um, workers there than customers, which is interesting for Apple because usually on an iPhone day release, it's like jam packed. He did ask, do you want anything with it? E.g. a charger or headphones? <laughs> <laughs> the box is so small. Wow, that was amazing. Oh, all the people queuing up to get their iPhone 12 Pros. That was, it was like so cakes. good. They were selling like hotcakes. Now, the reason why they got the 12 Pro is because it now has 5G. We're going to be doing some basic RF tests very soon. I'm going to insert my SIM card in there. But before we do RF, we're doing the camera. Yes. One of the reasons, the selling points of this phone, it has, get this, not 10%, not 20%, not 60%, but it has a 50% larger camera sensor. Whoa. So I mean, I'm expecting the photographs to be 50% larger. I hope so. Yeah. So we're gonna be doing this is iPhone 8. Okay, we're gonna have this guy to play with at the end, but we're gonna be doing iPhone 11 Pro versus 12 Pro selfie camera. Is that okay, is that good? Let's do selfie camera. You're able camera. to open up the camera. Yes, I'll open it up. I got the camera right here. All right, I have got the camera right here. Oh, look at this. This is new, Ash. Okay. So it says new quick take video. Tap and hold the shutter to record a quick video. Drag the shutter to the left. That's reverse. old. That's old. We didn't know. Yeah, it's old oh. school. Oh, that's iOS. Old school. Okay, let's let's see the width of the selfie camera. Maybe I'll okay. hold them both. I don't know what I'm doing with this one. Come on, guys. We want to see what's going on. Okay, flipped it. Flipped it. Oh. Is there? Is there? You're a diff you're more zoomed in. Am I? On this is, one? It's pretty much the same. Well, you know, you look orange. Or is that just the true tone display? I can't tell, man. I'm going to make it larger. I look weird in Your both of them. Your face is distorted. <laughs> so is mine. His faces are it's really, really weird. Are really distorted. That is bizarre. I'll, oh, yeah, really, really. Maybe let's take a selfie on this one with okay, you. Same I'm, picture, remember? Okay. okay, she's doing a selfie right now, guys. I'm going to be showing you the results. She's taking a nice selfie. That's good. And now you got to do it with this one. Okay, she's doing it. So let's see who has a nicer picture. I'm gonna take a look. Let's see, is it exactly the same? Oh, they look very Ooh. similar. Okay, let's hold it up to the camera over here. Maybe you get a better view of this guy. Maybe hold it a bit closer. Oh, push it forward. There, there you go. go, as big as you can. Above the light. Oh, look at that. They so look the same. I'm gonna look right? at it. I'm gonna look at it right now with my eyes I think now. They look the same. I don't know. Let's see what Ash thinks, because Ash has got the eyes so out. So did you hold it out. the same? 
I think so. You know what? I'm going to take this Maybe to the next take level. Maybe a picture of me. Because I'm going to be holding the camera yes, now. I'm going to take it to the next, next level. Idea. Yeah, it does look the same. So I'm going to flip this over. And I'm going to go with go selfie. Come on, we're going to do this. We're going to do a selfie mode picture holding exactly the same okay, angles. Okay, same, one, two, three. Same camera. Okay. You know, I'll hold it like this. And then I'll hold this like this. And okay, let's I, see, I, let's I've, see. I've held it pretty much the same. You guys have saw me live, yeah? You saw me holding it the same. So. Oh, that one's more zoomed in. Or yeah. is that just because you were holding no, it? No, definitely. So the, the, these guys yeah, so it's definitely bigger. Like, it's, it's, you definitely get more screen in the selfie. Look at that. I held it pretty much exactly the same. Pretty much. Like, don't hate me on it. But you can see a certain chest area on one phone and a lack of a chest area on another phone. <laughs> Oh, and uh, more, more, more white space on the top. So the 12 Pro, you get more. So you get a wider field of view. Yeah, you get a wider field of view on the 12 Pro with... Uh, so that's pretty good. That's quite cool, isn't you know, it? Um, the last company I worked for, back in the UK, we had this feature where you had to take a selfie of your face. And pretty much um, everyone was complaining that it always got their nose. And the reason why was our designer was a tall bloke. So when he would take a selfie, He'd hold the phone like that, but it'd be like, like really far away because he's really tall. So he could manage to get a nice crop of his face. But most of the users were like, like old grannies. So they hold the phone like this. <laughs> and the user interface that he designed had like a big circle to mask the whole camera. And the programmer that programmed it, programmed it did a bad job of scaling it down. So this will resolve that issue. Yeah. yeah so we no longer have to fix it on cool, the app. Eh? All you do is just get a phone with a, a larger camera sensor. That's pretty so cool, it is, it is it? larger. And what about and that's, the that's, that's useful. That, that yeah, is useful. That is, when you're with your mates and you want to take a picture, it's so annoying. It's really hard. Yeah, it's, a, it's really interesting. I'm, I'm impressed there. If there's one reason to buy phone, buy the iPhone 12 Pro. It has a larger selfie screen. Did you guys get that in any of the other reviews? Yeah, you probably did. Yeah. I didn't watch them, so I don't actually know. But that's is that is it's, that not useful for that you? That was useful. These guys are loving it. They're saying like, um, you know what, the iPhone 12 selfie is better than the iPhone 11. Yes, We're yes. agreeing with you. Um, Colin says maybe send one of the pictures onto the other phone so that you can see the picture. Oh, Colin, nice. That's I like that. Cool we will do that. We'll do maybe. a full yeah. camera comparison if we we're will. bothered to do that. <laughs> maybe if you leave a comment for it, we'll save. <laughs> I'll do one more test though. Go on. Is it any better in the darkness? Oh, so I'm going to right now turn the cameras off and take the exact same picture turn again. The turn, turn the lights off. Turn the lights off. Turn the cameras off. <laughs> we won't be able to see anybody. Turn the camera off. Okay, let's do it again. All right, so it's going to be a bit dark now, guys. We are still streaming live. We're just testing out the night, the night mode of the iPhone 12 versus the iPhone 11. Right now, we're about to go into the dark. You're going to tune in with us. We are head to tech, lighting it up right now. We are going into darkness in five, four, three, two. One, we're in darkness. That's not actually that bad. Uh, no, no, Maybe tell the other yeah. one. No, well, let's, let's, do, let's do a couple of shots here. So I'm yeah. going to do one where you're like, okay. maybe you hold I'll, it. I'll hold a picture and I will do a picture right now, right? Yeah, yeah, thank Okay, you. so right now I'm taking a picture in a slightly dark or I'd say twilight mode. So one, two, three. Okay, done. Okay. Next one. I'm gonna I'll, do, I'll just do it in the darkness. In the darkness. Now we're going completely dark. One, two, three. Oh, that was such a horrible picture. I have to do it again. <laughs> okay, it activated night mode, so I had to hold still for three seconds to have that picture done. All right, let's and do it. And now it's time for the iPhone 11. We're doing a selfie just in low light. One, two, three. Got the flash for that one, interestingly. And now for the dark mode. Oh my goodness, it's pitch black. Okay, we can cue the lights. Interestingly, guys, the iPhone um, 11 had the flash on on both times. The iPhone 12 did not. But what's more than that is I could continue to see my face on the iPhone 12 and I couldn't see my face on the iPhone 11 in pitch black. Isn't that interesting? I'm very interested in finding out what it looks like. So if you can please yes, go to the gallery view. I will view. show you <laughs> exactly what it looks like. Oh my goodness, the pictures are awful. Okay, guys, okay, low light. this is it. I'm going to swap them around like a magician. You guys, you know, I'm just going to tell you what's better, yeah? Because uh, I'll it's give you the chance. It's hard to see sometimes. Yeah, first I'll look at it. So the iPhone 11, and you got a nicer pose on the 12. So, yes. <laughs> okay, guys. Yes. So she, she looks better on the 12, but I think it's because she's pouting. On the 11, maybe because she's seen this design a bit too many times, she looks unimpressed. So I'll show you guys, <laughs> and I'll see you guys think. Quality-wise, they look the same. Like, like, you can see over here on the, the 11, 
She looks pretty much unimpressed. <laughs> They're like, meh, okay, not another phone. Okay. But on the 12th, she's like giving it a pout. She's like, oh la la, look at me. I'm checking myself out. I'm good looking. This one, it's like the screen's even turned off. It's had enough. <laughs> it doesn't even want to know. It doesn't want to know what's going on. Oh my goodness. And now we're going into dark mode because dark mode is interesting. That's, that's the dark mode. That's the completely dark mode. No, no, we're going to do... Uh, okay, let's do it. That is the dark mode. Okay. So the dark mode, the iPhone 11 took a flash on my face. And I couldn't see the screen when I was taking the picture, whereas I could see the screen in dark mode with the iPhone 12. Oh, okay. So I'm looking at this. Mm. Ooh. Oh, this is... Uh, you need to show them. It that. looks worse. It's horrible. Right? Oh, oh my goodness. It's so... Is that really dark mode? That's really dark mode. What, what, what happened? Why, why is it's it so bad? really bad. The iPhone 12 is dark mode. It's really bad. When we turned off the lights. Taking a picture in the dark in iPhone 12, 12 is disgusting. We only did one test so far, but look. Like this, this is the 11. Maybe because that one had a flash in yeah, my face. Yeah, definitely. This, this one, one didn't have a flash. Yeah, it looks worse. Are you supposed to turn on the flash, maybe? No, but it should do that automatically, right? It should right? do automatically. Yes. My goodness, you can see like eye bags and wrinkles. That is not good. No, it's not that. It's so grainy. It's look, at, grainy. look at the shadows. Now, is it, is it the, the flash, you like the you flash? said? Maybe. Like, let's did, see. How do you do so the let's flash? See. No, it had the flash already activated. It's already turned on. So it just didn't activate the flash when I took the picture. That's what happened. Okay. That's an interesting find. So the selfie of the dark mode on the iPhone 12 looks worse than the iPhone 11, but that can hopefully be tweaked on yeah, software. I'm sure you could probably put force the flash, the flash on to well. be on. You could put the flash. Like, we need to do more testing to find out. We'll have to. Maybe because the quality is meant to have improved, they disabled the flash. Like, is the quality worse generally? Let's see. So that's the first picture. You look more oh. more coloured in yeah, the eleven. It could just be calibration. Like it could be the different true true tones. Yeah, but it should be the same. It's using it the same the light. Same. It should be the same. Like if you look here, I actually look nicer in the eleven yeah. than I do in the twelve. You look so muggy in the twelve. I don't look good. Maybe oh maybe it's that computational photography stuff that they were talking about. They were saying oh computational oh. photography. Yeah, so maybe they they've started oh. photoshopping the pictures and it looks more muggy. I don't know if I like it. I really like this. Oh, you picture. know, Apple, they're like ahead of the curve when it comes to like race and all that kind of stuff. Mm. So maybe they're making everyone look the same color. So there's no more violence or something like that. I don't no, know what's I don't going on. What do you guys think about this? I, I think really you, you, more, you look more. Yeah. Yeah, you look like a bro. I don't look good. You, no, you look I, better on the. I look so much. Sorry, but I look, <laughs> I look so much better in the 11 than I do in the 12. Why? My God. What happened? You're even pouting. What's going on? But I'm pouting on the other one as well. Yeah. And yet it doesn't it, look it's good. It's just in the darkness. Oh, that one was a bad picture. That's a bad picture. Oh, yeah. It's really bad. Oh my goodness. I do not want this phone. It no, looks terrible. No, no, no. I'm sure, I'm sure it's one of those issues where they Colin will improve says, it. Colin says, might be a shaky hand. Colin, I, haven't, I don't have any shakes right no. now. I've got a computer. You know, so, yeah. what we'll do now is, that was the selfie camera. Obviously, we'll have a dedicated video yeah, for cameras and stuff. Especially if you leave a comment in the comments below, like this video, subscribe for this kind of stuff. We will now take these phones. The back camera, yeah. the high quality That's camera. What we need to know. No more excuses of handshake because you're yes. a professional photographer. And, okay. and guys, guys, I need to tell you this. I am officially a professional photographer. Yes. Yeah, tell, you tell, us, us. tell us quickly. I actually took professional pictures and videos for a, a listed real estate apartment. And it recently, last week, got sold. <gasps> sold within three weeks of Whoa. listing. And it is the, the, for the most amount of money in the building's history. Oh so gosh. I'm a, a record set setting professional photographer. Professional photographer. You need to hire your services. Professional photographer. Congratulations. Photographer. I took the pictures, I edited the video, I took the video. She was in the backdrop of, the, of some I of the was, pictures. We had some there. fun. I was there. I'm gonna have a full tutorial on how I did it. I even edited the pictures, check this out. Using, not Photoshop, Final Cut Pro. Yes, and I'm gonna have a full tutorial on how to edit pictures, all that bravo, kind of stuff. Bravo. For For actual selling flats. So make sure you subscribe Australia. because yeah. it's coming up soon. So I'm going to be using my, my credibility that I've now gained yes. and harnessed with yes. you guys. Yes. I'm going to be taking the pictures Show using us. the back camera. Are you guys excited about the back camera? Yes. We're also going to be taking videos as well. No. Videos? I can't sure. wait. Like everyone is going crazy. It's the video that everyone, keeps on giving. I know. Everyone, like everybody wants to know. There's so many comments on here. I just can't even read them all. And guys, you know, we are, so we are with you here today. Yeah. Today is actually a, day. a Friday. A Friday We're and it's 8 p.m. It's a Friday night. We are giving our Friday night up to for you. you guys. So anything you want tested out, 
Make sure you leave a comment in the yes. comment section below. Like, subscribe, share. Let us know if you're enjoying the stream. They're loving it, Ash. I probably They're need another break, but let's do They're it. Let's do it right it. now, They're yeah? I'm going to do the back camera. You guys excited about this one? Yes. Okay, so well, she is. I'm excited. <laughs> All right, before, before, you guys, now, before I do the, the photography, I, I yes. need to prepare. Go so, on. Prepare. Ooh. I, I, oh, he's I, preparing. Yeah. All right. Seriously. <laughs> Take this seriously. Oh my goodness, oh, he's got his photography equipment out this and is, ready. Uh, for for testing, is, uh, DxO Labs. Got nothing on this. This is heads of tech labs. <laughs> Professional pictures. All right, and All right. I'm gonna just prepare myself for this photo shoot by a professional photographer. Okay, so you guys can't see what's going on behind the scenes, but Ash is in front of the camera. So I'm holding it right there. You got a nice pose? It's the same pose, you got locked that pose in. Give me some of that. Mm, give me some mm. of that. See, I'm, I'm directing the model. You're gonna mm. learn about this stuff in my video, but like, yes, yeah, you lock it, lock it in. Don't, don't, don't change, don't change, don't change. Okay, perfect. I got that one right there. So the exact same, oh, the selfie. <laughs> the exact same, oh, it's hard to press. The exact same pose. Are you ready for this one? Holding mm -hmm. the camera, is it straight? I pressed it, pressed it right there. Woo! Now I'm gonna turn the okay, lights off. lights off. Let's light see what's is happening. off. I mean, you take the I'm, light well, off. I'll turn the light. Which one are we gonna do? Turn, turn this light off. This is so much fun. I never knew you could have so much fun with an iPhone review video. This is just too much fun. You don't get this on all the other channels, guys. Make sure you hit like, You only get quality share. content on the other channels. Yeah. All right, and I'm gonna hit that button right there. And I will do it again just in case. Three, two, one. And one, two, three. And I'll do it one more time just in case. Now, complete darkness now. Complete darkness. Complete darkness. And we've got to do this quick because the battery life is about to die. One, two, three. Done. And one, two, three. Done. Which battery's gonna die? The iPhone 12? No, the camera that's still streaming. No, no, you guys. <laughs> yeah, I might, it in. might have to take a quick break to switch cameras. Okay, but, um, let's just show you guys this before we'll we go. We'll show you this guy before we go. So I'll switch over to these phones. So oh, in complete darkness. Oh my goodness me. Whew, wow. That is interesting. So that the iPhone tw um, 11, it's bluish and it looks oh, nice. The iPhone 12, it's more white. It's more white. And uh, I'll show you side by side. This is the complete darkness one. Completely different color. Look at that. So this is the, the 11. And this one is the 12. What did you do with the light? Oh, I tried to turn it down. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Too bright. Yeah, it's all good. So guys, go. which is the better camera right here? This is legit what's going on. This one is the 11. It looks nicer to me in my eyes. It looks nicer. And this is the 12. It looks a bit reddish, mm. reddish over here. Oh That's in a low light with the lights off. This one's in low light as well. Whoa. So we're getting the, the 11 and the 12 over here. Now I'm going to look at it carefully. Go on. And I think the 12 does look nicer. I'll, I'll really? say personally, with my eyes, the 12 does look nicer in low light. With the light off, the 11 looks nicer. So I don't think they've done their night mode well. With the lights on, I'm gonna do that Go now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the 12, I think, is more balanced, mm -hmm. lighting-wise. It's interesting, But it? it does look a bit reddish. That is a bit interesting it's there. It's odd, isn't it? Why is it? It's kind of like the Samsung. When the Samsung came out, it was red. It's probably the screen just adapting. You, you know, it has that adaptive um, oh, color maybe. scheme. So it might be yeah, something yeah. to do with you that. We just have to tweak it. So we'll have to check out the colors very, very soon. All right, Ash, I think these guys need a recap of what it was like going to the Apple shop to pick up these iPhones. Because we need to switch cameras. We do need to switch because cameras. the camera is about. We've been streaming live for the past however long and our camera has run out of battery. So guys, I don't know what we're gonna do. We're gonna have to change because there's so many comments on the comment section. Everybody wants some we're more We're gonna have to switch stuff. to this camera. <laughs> Hello, how's it going? <laughs> All right, let's get that promo up and let's change cameras and back in a second. How am I gonna change cameras? I have no idea. In fact, I don't know either. <laughs> Why don't you talk while I try figuring it out? All right, okay, guys. And, and go through the comments. I'm I can reach out. some comments right now. Ash is still with us. Do not worry. Oh, what about the ringtones? Are they in Dolby Stereo? That's a really good there question, go. Patrick. I'm going to check that out very, very shortly. Um, um, Craig HD says, I'm stuck. I don't know whether to get an iPhone 12 Pro or a Pro Max. Do you know what? I guess it depends on like what it comes down to finances. Do you reckon finances are important with that one? I think what, what we need to do for? is to show you the Apple Store while I switch cameras and then hopefully we can continue to stream and answer all of your questions, especially that one. So stay tuned. Oh, it's 
black. Yes, very excited. It's black, it's no longer white, it's changed. Well, it was interesting. We didn't actually go in the shop, which is probably a good thing because we didn't have to wear an obligatory mask. But I have to say, for a new iPhone release, there weren't actually that many customers. There was more um, workers there than customers, which is interesting for Apple because usually on an iPhone day release, it's like jam hats. He did ask, do you want anything with it? E.g. a charger or headphones? <laughs> <laughs> the box is so small. hear me Hello. so it's probably quieter so let me just fix fix that quickly and uh, maybe my DJ can be doing Guys, some talking. Guys how is it going out go. there we are getting so many comments on the comments section Ash is just setting up making sure that you guys are enjoying this fabulous stream that we're streaming with you the iPhone 12 versus the iPhone 11 it's all happening here we've literally unboxed the iPhone 12 in front of you we've opted for the gold edition just going to recap a few things whilst we're getting all the technical stuff out of the way as you can see, it's got nice square edges now, or kind of curved edges with a squarish uh, edge on the top. The gold is so much more shinier than the old iPhone 11. It does have loads of fingerprints, fingerprintcity.com everywhere. It feels exactly the same weight as the iPhone 11, surprisingly, even though it is bigger and the bezels are smaller as well. Unfortunately, inside the box, you do not get a charger, you do not get headphones, you do get a USB Lightning 3 cable, and you get a um, terms and conditions manual that says watch out for the RF radiation. So take that what you will. My co-host is back. Please give a big round of applause for Ash. Woo! I managed to switch the cameras over. I How's it looking? I, I wasn't actually preparing to do the stream. I was going to unbox it and like do some tests and like edit it and then like publish a video and then I figured why don't I just do it live with you yes. guys and then if anyone because usually when I make a video people always ask me questions in the comment section below and then it's like okay I need to make another video for that I don't mind that it's all good but YouTube doesn't like you know it's random so they might not see that I've made the follow-up video for them so I figured if I do it live you guys can just ask me whatever you want me to do and I'll do it live and anything that's more complicated I can do a separate video I for them that. so, so good. And you guys seem to be enjoying the show, so that's good. We'll, we'll continue it. it. Oh so what goodness. was the question that would be nice? All right, so questions out there. Should I go for, um, oh my goodness, there's so many questions. What should I do, iPhone 12 Pro or iPhone 12 Pro Max? iPhone 12, you know, I, was, well, I wanted to order the Max, but they said in order for it to get delivered, it have to wait until November. What? November. So the Pro Max isn't even available at the moment. So I went for the iPhone 12 because uh, she doesn't like big, big phones. Mm. And um, I don't know if I can switch to uh, an iPhone yet. I've been, I've been toying with it. Last year I was gonna. This year, so the thing is, I kind of love my Note. You know, I haven't upgraded. This isn't the Note 20, this is the Note 10. I, I, I like it, it does everything I want. The camera is, isn't the best. It's, it's okay, it's okay, it's a bit orange. Samsung, I don't know what their deal is. Maybe they're South Korean, they like orange things. But other than that, it's all right. It does a lot of things and Android is so, useful you can do so much with an android i've got a firewall in there i've got this pen i do the actually stylus, use it yeah, the stylus is really cool because i, I can it. select the text that i want and and then i can extract i can do some ocr or, or um, optical character recognition so you can convert images into text so i can grab a link from instagram because instagram are weird they don't allow you to click on links facebook they're really tight with their links 
Um, so I can grab that link and I can always share it to Nora because she likes looking at Instagram stuff. And all these kind of like stuff cases where I need it for. It's got a massive screen. The screen is kind of annoying because, I mean, if you're thinking about the Pro Max, how big are your hands? Are you a big fella? Are you over six foot? If you're over six foot, I'd consider it. If you're under six foot or you have smaller hands or normal hands, if you have big hands, definitely get it. But if you've got smaller hands or just normal hands, like it's really hard to, you know, get the whole four corners of the screen. And uh, I wouldn't recommend the big phones for that. And once you get used to big, seriously, you do not go back. Like, you do, no, no, you do not. It's not even a joke. Like, I can never go back to a smaller phone because I've been blessed with having such a massive display. Yeah. I, I love Android because you can do split screen. You can have one app on the top, another app on the bottom. I don't know if iOS can do that yet. Probably can't. iPads can. iPads, yeah. Sort of in a rubbish kind of way. But once you have the big screen, you're not going to go back. One thing I do hate about this Note is that the, the unlock, the finger unlock, is it's hit and miss every like few months, three months, I have to reset it. So it works well when you first play with it, but then after a while, if it gets wet, all that kind of stuff, you do have to reset it. But it's not the end of the world, and hopefully it will get fixed, maybe in the Note 30, maybe I'll consider that one. But I don't like phones in general, I don't like the way they're going. They're, they're like always listening to you, they're always on, they're always, there's no way to turn them off. Even when I turn on airplane mode, it's still tracking me via GPS, so mm -hmm. it's still constantly doing stuff, well, you know, it is what it is. You kind of have to live with the sacrifices because it's such a beautiful invention. You know, probably from, you know, and then people, these guys, they probably came down, they built the pyramids, and now they probably built the phones. There's been a lot of sightings this year. We've actually got a really open sky. We need to set up some telescopes, we some do. tracking. We need to actually see. starry nights, all Gorgeous. this kind of stuff. Astronomy. I hope I answered your question. Yes, Do you have another one before we play with the camera a bit more? Do Can videos. Check, oh, there's so much out there. Can you check... Uh, oh, actually, somebody wants to know about the ringtones. What do they sound like? And someone else said, can you check the Dolby Vision HDR? Um, someone's worried about the battery. So yeah, Ash, we need to listen to the ringtones, I think. Okay, I reckon. Let's continue on the camera train. And then okay. we can jump. We're going to take this step by step. We're doing methodical testing. I love this. Methodical. Methodical. So something about battery is... When Nora got her iPhone 11 Pro last year, the battery life was amazing until up about... Two weeks ago. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> Two or three weeks ago, I suddenly noticed that my iPhone was no longer lasting me the whole day. Even today, in fact, I, you can actually see my... Um, I don't know if you can see it, but anyway. I'll show you. My, my battery was like on 5%. Just two hours ago, I've just charged it up now. I had to put it on low battery mode. It never used to do that. The point is that it never used, I never had And how many day. videos have you taken with this phone today? I actually haven't used my phone at all we today. We took one picture today, and that is the, the thumbnail of this video. We took that on this phone, that's it. I actually haven't been on my phone. Like, if I think about it, maybe I checked my emails, maybe I went on Instagram twice, and that's about it. Like, I literally, the use of, I don't use my phone that often, I have to say. But I you used, to, you used to, to take it to work and take videos and all that stuff. Remember, you used to send me yeah, the laptop and, and turn the Apple on. Yeah, and i hold, like, and now I carry a charger in my phone. I never used to. Now I carry a charger in my handbag to plug into the computer. So the, the, the battery of the 11 Pro was great for the first six months and then up until two weeks ago. So I'm not even lying. To, before, just like literally a breath before the iPhone 12 came out, the battery life just got So down. I'd say even if this does have a good battery, which it, Probably will as long as you don't use the 5G stuff. I, I don't trust it. Probably within six months it's going to start slowing down. It's such a shame because I remember when iPhones used to have a really long battery life and like you could just use them forever and ever and ever and ever. You didn't have to charge them up overnight. Like it would just be like you can continue on for days and days on end. But now it's like every new phone that I get, I'm having to just change it because of purely on battery. This one might be better, but what would be great is that on iOS, if they made like an efficiency mode, you can do that on Samsung phones on Android. You, can, you don't have to have the maximum power all the time. I think Apple, they make the phone go fast and beautiful when you first get it, so yeah. you get excited about the speed. But phones have gone so fast as it is, there is like no need for extra performance, I think. I think you should always go a bit slower. They do have slow down cores, so maybe it will be better in this one, but it's, we will do a battery life test, a drain test. Yeah. But the thing is about those guys, it's probably going to degrade in six months due to past history. Even my iPhone 8's battery is pretty um, pathetic, but this one's like a few years old now, four years, something like that. I'm surprised it's still alive. Wow, it's 100% battery, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I said this phone had a rubbish battery, but it's actually at 100%. It's really good. It's 100%. I did love the iPhone 8. It was my favorite phone, actually. Of, we, all, of all of the ones, it was my this favorite. This phone has been unplugged for over an hour at least, and it's still at 100% battery life. And we've probably done about as much as we have with the iPhone 8 as we have with the 12 and the 11. 
Okay. Ridiculous. So, Ridiculous. Any other questions so we jump or shall we jump uh, to the video test? I think we need to jump to the video test. Okay right guys, now. do you want to mm. see selfie video or do you want to see front facing camera video? Oh. Let us know. You guys are loving the photos. Someone did say that they can't yeah, Colin said he's excited to see your professional quality photos. All right guys, I'm going to be I'm going to be taking a video right now. I'm going to be doing a microphone and selfie test. Okay, let's do it. And now this is 4K, 30 frames a second. We're doing it on the iPhone 11 first. We're going to do the exact same thing on the iPhone 12, actually at the same time. Okay, Boom, you know shakalaka. What? I'm just going to clean the camera lens because it looks a bit, bit blurry. We want to make it fair, isn't it? Fair make test. make it 100% fair. 100% fair. We are all over. about fairness on this channel. 4K, 30. Good luck. Okay. Oh, How are you going to do it? Maybe hold, I can hold, hold it this way. Hold it this way. There you go. Right. Oh, no, no, I want the oh, button. Sorry, you want the button? Yeah, okay, thank you. We like, we're doing this live. This is okay, all live, guys. Keep it to my hand. Live. Don't drop it. All right, go. So I'm holding both phones Ooh. like this. Uh, I can see myself on both. Go. I look good. I look three, good. Two, okay, one. three, two, one. I'm going to hold it straight. Hello. Hi. Welcome to Heads of Tech Live, where we are Heads of Tech in live. I'm also going to be shaking the hands like this, see if it has that stabilization. They both look actually pretty good. Shake that one a bit I'm more. I'm shaking this one up and down. Look, I'm actually shaking this one really up and down, really <laughs> up and down, really up and down. Shaking this one really Woo. up and down, really up and down, really up and down. So guys, I got to say, uh, on the iPhone 11, I look less colored than on the iPhone 12. Yeah. That is pretty interesting. It is interesting. And let's do a, a voice test. This is my voice. 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 It's a bit too long. Okay. I'm just gonna Let, stop let's right just there. Play now. But we pretty much got some stuff happening. Oh, I'm walking, I'm walking in the street. Yo, yo, look at me. I'm walking in the street to the beat, to the... All right, come on, Ash. We're gonna let's play. Let's have a look. We're gonna look it with you guys live. Everyone and wants to you see guys this. let me Everyone know. Everyone wants to see it. Oh, we got to hear it as well. Okay, okay. Live sound test. Okay, wait, wait, I'm gonna put my microphone on. Okay. No. Oh. Just gonna say hi to Tom Ash. Ash Tom Ash has joined the show. Hey Tom, no, how you Tom, doing? Tom, oh, it's, it's, how do you, you can't increase the volume when the camera's up. So Ooh, I'm gonna have to just. Uh, interesting. Yeah. Alrighty, okay, let's, so let's see what we've got. So now we're just about to load up the videos that Ash took in selfie mode and have a listen to the microphone and also look at the camera quality. We're gonna show you guys on the overhead camera very shortly what it looks like. When Ash gets that pulled up, here we go. We got that one, and we're gonna get the overhead camera, and we are almost ready to roll. All right, can you guys see? This is live. This is live. We're doing it live. Oh, that's not on. Interesting. No, it's not on. How come? Oh, there we go. All right. All right, which one should we play first? The iPhone 11. I look. Okay, let's this is the it. iPhone 11. Hello, welcome to Heads of Tech Live, where we are Heads of Tech in Live. I'm also going to be shaking the hands like this, see if it has that stabilization. They both look actually pretty good. Shake that one a bit. I'm more. shaking this one up and down. The guy actually shaking this one really up and down, really up and down, really up and down. Shaking this one really up and down, really up and down, really up and down. So, guys, I gotta say, uh, hello. I just want to do the brightness because it seems like it's not bright enough, right? It seems dark. Yeah, yeah. I agree with so you. Let's, let's do that again. This one's, oh, that was, so the brightness is different. The brightness is different. Yeah. That was interesting, okay. wasn't it? Okay, we'll do that again. Okay. One more time, we're going to show you the iPhone 11 first, and then the iPhone 12. All right, let's get this one up. I'm going to get this one up for you, Ash. Give you a little hand, and we're going to pop that on. There we go. Okay, let's, let's play it side by side. Okay. Uh, let's rewind this from the beginning. Do you want to play both at the same time? Yeah, let's play both at the same time. And then I'll mute and unmute as it goes. One, two, oh. That's so fiddly. Okay, one, one, two, three, go. To Heads of Tech Live, where we are Heads of Tech in Live. I'm also going to be shaking the hands like this. this. See, it has that stabilization. They both look actually pretty good. I'm shaking this one up and down. The guy actually shaking this, this one, one really, really up and down, really <laughs> up and down, really up and down. I'm shaking this one really Woo! up and down, really up and down, really up. I got to say, uh, on the iPhone 11, I look less colored than. Yeah. That is pretty interesting. Is and interesting. let's do a uh, voice test. This is my voice. This is my voice. This is my voice. This is my voice. This is my So I'm just switching the brightness down. I don't know if you can see it, but it looks worse on the iPhone 12. Don't you think? Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll rewind it back again. It's interesting, wasn't it? That was really interesting. I don't know. It looks a lot worse. Let's just see if these guys can see that as well. Yeah, I just reduced the brightness. Okay, so we've gone, we've gone low brightness now, and we're going to show you guys how it looks like. How you do ready? We, how do I click on this video? Just play. Oh. This one here. This one. You ready? One, two, three. I'll play. So this is medium brightness. 
The iPhone 12 looks brighter, brighter, definitely brighter than the iPhone 11. Yeah. So this isn't like a fair test at the moment. So let me just fix the brightness here to make it palatable. That was weird. That's very odd. Okay, let's play. Is it still playing? Yeah. Let's rewind it back from the beginning. Okay. All right. One, two, th I'll wait for you. One, two, three, go. Okay, let's see. All right. It's pretty hard to see on your screens, but the, the face right here, I'm going to zoom into Nora's face. Look how dark it is compared to this one. This one looks a lot brighter. Oh, it's a bit hard to see. Oh, okay, sorry, we've lost my it. fault. It's sorry, right. guys. Maybe still frame. Can we yeah. put pause? Okay, let's put pause. And let's just, from the beginning, right to the beginning. And I okay. hate iOS. It's so hard to Let's zoom in on the face. Look at that. Okay. I don't know if you can see that. Mm. I'll show you. Well, you, it's hard for you it's guys to, to tell, see that. But for us, we can see that this one looks darker. Yeah, it looks definitely darker. Is, maybe I'll show it to you on the main show, camera. Show them. Maybe you hold this one and I'll hold the other one. Okay, let's do it. So look at this. And try tilting it so you don't get the, the screen. How's that? Oh, it's gone. All right, we'll just have to visually tell you. But yeah, the iPhone 11 looks yeah. nicer than the iPhone 12, but let me just swap hands. Go on, I'm go gonna on. really These investigate guys really this. Need to see this because this is like breaking news almost. <laughs> <laughs> breaking news. This is breaking news. I'm like, looking how at... is the 11 better than the 12? I thought that was what they're supposed no, to be. No, this is weird. It's definitely more grainy it on the iPhone 12. I wish we could your, show you Your guys. face is so grainy. It is. Can we not just like show, show them again? Like seriously, this is unreal. How can I show it? Can you guys see the grain? Like, let me know in the comment section below if you can see the grain. Or if you want us to hold it up to the camera again, we will. Yeah, but... It, okay, I'm going to do some proper zooming so you guys oh can God. see. Let's zoom to that chin, because maybe you'll see it then. Is it darker or more, more washed out? Yeah, maybe it is more darker. No, it's not. It's the same amount of brightness because it's the same angle. No, but he's saying, like, is it, is it just more washed out? It's, than it's less defined. I'm going to show you the, the chin one more time. Okay. So you can see that right now. Let's have a look. I'm Guys, getting what real, do you think real close. This? This so this a... is the 11. Can, can you can you see that? I'll get really yeah, close. They yeah, they can see that. This That's close. good. That's this 11, good. look, you can see a chin. You can see right. a chin, yeah? Now let's look at the 12. Look how, you, did you see that? Look look we'll at that grain. a little bit. No, but just look at yeah, that. Yeah, see yeah, that, see that bubbles? Can you see that? It's, it's, it's really it's grainy. I'll mind. zoom in. I'll zoom out. I'll hit pause. There, yeah. Go back to the beginning. Zoom in a bit. Move. That's a bit as bad as it's going to go. Can you make that one bigger as well or uh, make it a fair... Oh, but it still a, looks more like even when yeah. you zoom in. It just looks less defined. Obviously, this is just one frame of the video. It looks a lot oh, more nicer. Nice. I could zoom this one out a bit. Maybe I'll play a bit more. Maybe I'll zoom into my face. Yeah. Maybe it's female faces. That's so I'm going to zoom into my eye. That's, that's what I look like there. I'll zoom into my eye over here. Oh, no, you're right though. Look, this is so much more crisper. Is that right? 100%? Yeah, uh, like you're, the, you're more defined. There's aren't definitely you? more dark circles on the 12. I'm definitely seeing more dark circles here because look at that. There's less dark circles. So this is wow. same face. Look, that's that's the dark circles there, and this one. It's like I've got fools. Really looks, dark. Like, looks, someone's punched me in the face. <laughs> you got a black eye. <laughs> I got I got a black eye, guys. Yeah. <laughs> We're look, looking at this right now. So I don't know what to make of this. Oh wow. The selfie camera has improved inside. I'm keeping the camera here because we're doing some more yeah, investigations yeah, of you guys like taking it in the microscope. And I'm, I'm thankful that you guys can actually see. Can you guys see what we're seeing? Let us know I, if, I really you guys, if you can. can see, Just let me know in the comments section. See what you've seen. But um, the camera, the selfie camera is larger on the iPhone 12. So when we took a selfie picture, we saw more of the background, more of the downstairs area, a good, good situation. But the quality looks less refined. It's definitely more... Well, okay, we've got Colin says, are you doing 4K 60 on iPhone 12? It might be the Dolby Vision HDR business causing the fading color. So I'm going to tell you what it is. Let's take a look. So video, it's 4K 30. 4K 30 on 4K both. 30. On both. 4K 30 on both. On both, yeah. Mm. So. Still interesting though. But we're not done yet. No. I'd, I'd say, obviously, this is the Heads of Tech Labs DxO. Unlucky, mate. I'll see your review in a month's time when you bother to publish it. But Heads of Tech is saying that the selfie camera, video camera, is worse on the iPhone 12. Oh my goodness. Yeah, hopefully Apple will improve fast. it. They will improve it in, uh, in their tests, hopefully one day. But for now, we're going to do the back camera. Now, this is the improved yes. camera. The back camera, 50% larger sensor. It should be good. 
You guys excited about I'm seeing excited. the back camera? Well, I'm excited to, to a degree, but I'm also kind of a bit wary that I might be disappointed. I'm pretty sure, I've seen the pictures were, weren't better. It was worse, isn't it? It's debatable, because I thought 50% better will be better, low light and all that stuff. Let's see videos, because I'm going to do it in good lighting condition. I'm going to turn the lights off. Okay. I'm going to do normal conditions. I'm going to do some videos. Maybe we'll do like a all little right, bit of walking it. and all that stuff. We we'll it. see what we can do. We'll just and we'll do this right now. And, okay, um, let's do it. Should I just sit here and just do a dance or something? Yeah, there you, you, you do what you want to do. Okay, guys, we are, this is it. You guys are hearing it here first. The selfie picture for the iPhone 12. Video. Video, sorry. Video is not as good as the 11. Shocking. It is granular. It looks a bit shaded. And right now, Ash is testing out the video motion of both the cameras 11 and 12 and letting you guys know what the back facing camera, how good it actually is compared to its predecessor. I'm excited to know what's going on. I really am a bit confused. I don't know if it's gonna be better or worse, but Ash is gonna tell us very shortly. This is the optimal lighting conditions right now. We're in a bright room and very shortly we're gonna turn off the lights and show you how it looks like in a darkened room. Ash, how's it looking on your end? I gotta say, I'm not impressed. Ash is not impressed. Now this is, this is quite interesting because Ash is the guy that needs to, you know, he is quite particular. If he is not happy with the photographs, then clearly something is wrong here. This guy's a professional photographer. I kind of want to show you guys, but I'm not going to stop it yet. Okay, but he's you look, not stopping it now. You look more orange. On... I look more orange. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna, scary. I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going right. to turn on... This is going to be rubbish lighting now, because that, okay, that was good lighting. We are going now to dim lighting. We're doing dim lighting before we go to complete darkness. Let's see how we're looking right now. So there's a dim, light, dim lighting, and I'm going to move around a little bit just to give you guys a bit of emotion, see what's going on. Ash is looking back and forth at both the left and the right cameras, the 11 and the 12. I can't quite read his face. I'm not sure if he's happy or if he's sad. He's kind of looking, I think he's laughing. I think he sees no, that I'm it's impressed. worse, maybe. I'm not sure, we're gonna I'm find not, out really soon. Impressed. I was expecting something better. He's okay. saying he's not impressed. Okay, I'm gonna turn the lights off now. The light, guys, lights are coming off. We are coming in right now in dark. the darkness. I don't know if you can see me, I can't even see myself. Ash has got both the right and the left. He's 11 and 12, hitting it up. I'm gonna move around. What is going more. on? Oh my goodness, I'm scared. It's so... Oh, it's so post-processed on the iPhone 12. Are you, are you kidding? Yeah. Oh my goodness. I'm okay, I'm, I'm zooming in now. Okay, he's zooming in. He is not impressed. He is not impressed. I'm not happy. I'm not looking forward to the results. I think I know what they've done. Okay. It's, you see, well, the, the, the white screen, the ultra-wide camera is worse. Oh, oh man, really? they've done a bad job. They've oh done a bad gosh. job. They've oh done, my it's, it's officially, they've done a bad job. Guys, you're hearing it yeah, here Yeah, they've, they've done a bad job. Okay, maybe you can turn it off. Maybe All right, you can guys, turn off what you, they've done. we are back. Okay, we're back yeah, they, and they, Ash has got I, some I know what they've done. I, I know what they've done. Ash, it's, it's, come a, on it's a bad job. It, it depends on the situation if you like it or not. But, um, guys, 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 we are here live, Heads of Tech Live. Yeah, yeah. Ash is about to drop down the I'm knowledge just gonna tell you, videos. Yeah, yeah, because there's this new feature in Final Cut Pro where you can degrain videos. You can get rid of the grain, the grain effect, yeah. which is the... Yeah. the the, the bad stuff in dark, dark photos. I mean, if I'll get the actual name for it, but they've pretty much turned that feature on for the videos of the iPhone 12. So all of the videos coming out of the iPhone 12 looks processed. It looks like over sharpened. It looks a bit bubbly. Whereas this one, the iPhone 11, you can actually see the grain. So the feature that I'm talking about is called just listen. Is it film grain or something? No, no, no. But oh maybe if you goodness. give me some time by right. talking about something. I, you know what? You guys, you're hearing it here first. We are here live, Heads of Tech Live. We've been streaming now for over an hour. We're dropping knowledge down for you guys. We're showing you the cameras, the videos, low lighting, high lighting, absolute darkness. And Ash has just discovered something shocking. Not shocking. <laughs> not shocking, guys. Denoise. That's what it's called. Denoise. Denoise. Yeah. So they, they pretty much, they're... They're, auto they're automatically post-processing the videos that you're recording live. Maybe there's a way to turn it off. I'd rather turn it off and post-process it later on, denoise it later, because basically in Final Cut Pro, you get the options of like, you, you choose the sharpness and you choose how aggressive it is denoised. This one, they're probably just choosing it for you. So for me, it doesn't look as good. I'm gonna show you it. Show us. I'm just gonna show you I'm it. Dying to know. And it's, I'm just gonna show you the dark one first, because that one's, uh, you oh can God. tell straight away. Oh my God. Can they, wait, 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 put, put the overhead camera on. Okay, I'll put it out. It's all this coming on. You guys want to see? Do you guys want to see? Yes, they do. Everyone okay. is just wanting to see. Because I was, I was really expecting 50% better, like everything, because they said it was a larger sensor. But I think they might have ruined it by adding all the post processing, the computational photography business. Oh it would be good if you can video and take pictures in RAW, like, you know, just as pure as possible from the image sensor, and then you can decide, you know, how 
fake and CGI you want to make your videos. But I'll show you what I'm seeing, what I saw. All right. I'll get my glasses for this one here. So that one is the iPhone 11, this is the 12. 12. This is the 12. Uh, yeah, you just sit on that frame I right there. You just need just to... Sit on that frame right there. I'll, I'll zoom in. Zoom into her face. Oh no. And I'll zoom into your face. So can oh you, God, can you guys appreciate that? That is like super grainy. Well, let's just see. So on this one here, the, the 11, you can see that it's like the face hasn't been sharpened. It looks a bit bobbly. In this, it's this face here. You can see that it's a bit tried to be sharpened over here. There is more brightness on the 12 mm. in that picture, but let's just move a bit more to the right here. Now, look at, look at this area here. I don't know if you can see it too much. Let me just get the camera, 100%. Like, okay, perfect. You can kind of yeah, see what's going there on. There you go. So this is the 11, and this one is the 12. And I'm gonna say, let me just get the right frame. How do I zoom in, tap on that? Let's go to the beginning of it. Tap on this, go to That's the- the beginning. Tap on this, and go to the right at the beginning. So this is the exact same frame. I, it just, there's so much- Graininess, oh, oh. there's loads of grain. I don't know what's going on, man. It doesn't look that bad when I'm looking at it now. Okay, that's it, perfect. Let's look at the eyebrow, the eyebrow here. Oh, you can zoom in a lot oh, more on goodness, this. Yeah. But let's just try zooming out to make it a fair comparison. Can you guys see the amount of bobbleness there is on the eyebrow compared to the smoothness of this eyebrow? Can you guys see that? Can you see that? Yeah, I can, uh, let me have a look. Oh, yes, can I you can see it. In can, the, you see, yes, can, can, can you see, see the graininess on your lips on the iPhone 11 versus the denoised effect that you're getting on the iPhone 12. Yeah. So this footage is grainy. Like if you look at the grains, you can see a bit more grains here. But over here, if you look so at this, can you put them on top look, of each look at this pattern. You can see these little spots here. Yeah. These spots here are from the denoise effect. So it's tried to filter out that graininess and you're seeing a lot of post-processing artifacts. You're seeing it all over the shop. Can we put them on top of each other, Ash? Whoa, what do you mean? Like, oh, that oh that's genius, look at this. Okay, let's see. Thanks for the suggestion, Arthur. Thanks for the suggestion, Arthur. Oh, maybe I'll zoom out a little bit with the camera as well, get you a bit more view. There we go. Now, now just say that again one so, more time. So I'll show you again. So these are little artifacts here. It looks like from denoise post-process effects here. So it's on, on one hand, it's impressive that it's doing this live on the feed because this is a heavy, intensive processing effect. It runs on my Mac and it takes a few seconds. So they're, they're managing to do it live. The cost of doing it live means you don't get the best quality because, you know, in order to make it run fast, you need to cut out some of the complexities of the algorithm. So they're managing to do these post-process effects live on the video feed. Whereas this one here, it's just pure grain. You can see the graininess. This one, you can see the artifacts here. Mm. Now, if you look at, for example, uh, let me just fix the brightness. Oh, maybe I had to fix the brightness here to make it parallel. You look at this one, this, the eyebrow, I don't know if you can see the eyebrow there, but it's pretty much, it's, it's, it's straight. Yeah. Whereas the eyebrow here is very, very blotchy. Probably. It's very yeah. blotchy. And this, you know, because what the denoise algorithm is trying to do, is trying to smooth out all of these, these uh, the noisiness from the footage. I'm just going to play it now so you guys can fully see and appreciate it. And I'll zoom out and maybe make your own opinion of it. So these are both of the footage together. And I'll hit play. Three, two, one, play. And you're gonna be surprised, especially when I go ultra wide, because ultra wide is very, very wow. interesting. So look, 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 look how blotchy it is on the 12 because it's doing that denoise algorithm live. Oh my goodness. You see how blotchy it is? Wow. Where it's just, it's just grainy on the 11. And now I've turned off a bit of light. And oh, this ultra wide is complete -wide. black. You can see a bit of the image on the 11, but there's nothing on the 12. So probably that post-process effect is ruining yeah. the darkness on the screen. So when I got ultra wide, yeah. the, the low light conditions on ultra wide has been destroyed because of that. So that, that was an interesting find. So when you have the light, the, no, no. you guys you need to remember this is with the lights off. So it's, you know, both of these phones are doing really well in that situation. Should we just play it one more time, Ash? Yeah, I'll play it just one, more, one time, more time. Just to show you guys. Just one more time. Yeah, you want to do it from the beginning? Yeah, do it from the beginning. I'll go from this. I'll go from this side. Okay. One, two, three. Go. go. So, what, what do you want to see this I time? I mean, I'm just looking at it. Like, I'm shocked that the iPhone 12 is just so much more poorer than the iPhone 11. And, yeah, it just looks like, I don't know about you guys, but the, the graininess is just awful. It's just, it's been denoised, it's been post processed effects. So, yeah, these are smooth so shadows. 
and, and this is black. Ultra -wide. You can't see. I'm you gonna can't see I'm just gonna thing. pause this one, this bit here. Sure. Just, just, just appreciate I'll zoom in guys. here. I don't know if you can see this, but look, you can actually see a bit a of shadow, uh, a white. Maybe it's too much reflection, but no, no, there is a bit of white. We can see it. We can oh, there it is. That's, see that's it. better. Oh wait, I have to do it with the other side. Look, you can see a bit of white here. This one, the light is a lot poorer on the 12. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, in, wow. in bad lighting condition, it looks like the 12 is worse, but we did take, take other videos, so let's see what it looks like in other scenarios. So this is the complete blackout one. How do we uh, get to the other picture? Okay, so we are now... Okay, so we oh, got yeah. some nice one here. There so you go. Be... They're both here. Okay, cool. I'll, I'll show you that. This one is just, it looks yellow on the 12, isn't it? Yeah, I look oh. orange. Okay, I look like ready to tan. rewind? Yes. So fiddly. You ready? One, two, three, go. So what do you guys so think of this? This uh, is interesting. So it does look more orange on the 12. Definitely more. This is the 12, guys. This is the 11. 11 and 12. Now, quality-wise, they look very similar. You know what? The field of view for the 12 was actually more was mm. narrower, wasn't it? It looks the same to me. It looks the same to me. But I'll press play one more time. Interesting. This one's uh, interesting. We've got read this for dumb says. It's like they're attempting the Google Pixel strategy with the image processing, but way worse. Oh my goodness. Yeah. yeah. So you can actually see the grains on the 11, but they post-process the grains away on the 12. Yeah. You can just pause that picture, that's a nice one. Wow. So you can see here, it does have the grains. And this one, it just looks blotchy. Look at that nose right there. Oh, maybe you can't see it. Can you see it, guys? It's, oh, it's really hard to show it's you. Hard to show. show you. It just looks more blotchy. Like, for example, the nose. And let's just look at this one here. It looks more sharper. So this is the 11. It looks more wow. sharper. And this is the 12. It just looks more blotchy. It, it does look blotchy, it looks doesn't blurry. it? looks blurry. That's what I'm yeah. seeing here. But from far away, from far away, because we're looking it up close, yeah. from far away, the, which one looks nicer if you hold it? Yeah, the 12 looks nicer from further. From, yeah, um, for, me, from distance, for me, it looks blurry. From a handheld distance, it looks mm. blurry to me, blurrier. I like the sharp look. Mm, but this one, the eyebrow just looks so blur blurry. It is so blurry. Yeah. It's unreal, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I don't think it's unreal. Go okay, what about in good lighting condition? Do you guys want to see good lighting condition video? I'm yeah. sad because one of the reasons why I love the iPhone 11 Pro was it had a great video camera experience. It was like so much better than my Note, whereas it looks like it's, it's 12. It's worse, right? Well, maybe. It's amazing that they're doing this post-processing effect live because this is something that takes a few seconds to post-process on my Mac but it looks like they've had to use the light version of the algorithm, not the super quality version of the algorithm. And hopefully there might be a way to disable that post-process effect, because I disable it, I don't like it. In low light, it makes it look dark for no reason. There's no need for it, so I, I don't like it, but it, it's amazing on the feet that it can do it live. So finally, this is uh, the good lighting condition video. So let's uh, see that. Overhead, close together, and We'll rewind it. Three, two, one. Go. So I'll let you guys listen as well. How good it actually is compared to its predecessor. I'm excited to know what's going on. I really am a bit confused. I don't know if it's going to be better or worse, but very surely, this is the optimal lighting conditions right now. And very surely, we're going to turn off the lights and show you how it looks like in a darkened room. Ash, how's it looking on your end? I gotta say, oh, I'm goodness. not impressed. Ash is not impressed. Now, this is this is quite interesting because Ash is a guy that needs to, you know, he is quite particular. If he is not happy with the photographs, then clearly something is wrong here. This guy's a professional photographer. I want... oh. Interesting. Oh, interesting, interesting, interesting. Mm. We got um, Logan says that 11 looks better. Yeah, it's weird. I was, weird, yeah. I think, because they said 50% larger sensor, I was expecting it to be better. But for me, it is, it's worse, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, apparently, yeah. apparently, the 50% larger is only on the Max, the Pro. 
the Pro Max. That's apparently right. Is that right? Okay. Yeah, on the Max model. There you go. Awesome. There you go. That makes sense. So maybe it's the Max is. Why. Someone asked earlier, should I get the Pro or the Pro Max? Get the Pro Max. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> you don't want you don't want the Pro's camera. They've taken yeah. a step back. I mean, this is the 11 Pro, and uh, yeah. it's not as good as the. Thanks for that tip. I need yeah. to. Yeah. And some Arthur's saying, is the Dolby Vision turned on? Dolby Vision. So we, let's, we're going to go through the settings let's live with you look. guys. Let's see what's going on in the settings. So I'm going to go inside camera right now. Do you know now. what? I feel a bit annoyed. Why? Because I wanted it to be better. So these are the... Okay, you wanted it to be better. These I are the settings that's turned on. So we've got 4K, 30 frames a second. That's a bit of my trousers shot over there. 4K, 30 frames a second. We got record stereo sound. We got scan QR codes. Fast lens correction, smart HDR. Let's see if the settings have changed at all from mm, the, the iPhone 11. So you got to go into the settings application and camera. So let's look at it right there. So let's see. Camera, we got preserved settings. So they have actually changed on the top. Let it's me just. A bit too bright. Yeah. So you got dark mode. <laughs> okay, they have actually changed on the top. So you got. Record stereo sound is the same. Preserve settings, slow mo. They've taken it to the front. Preserve settings, formats. Let's check out the formats. Maybe the formats are different. Maybe that's what's causing it. No, uh, they're both on high same, efficiency. Same. So they're using the same codex. And uh, auto adjustments, scene detection. Maybe you can disable some of these scene detection settings to make it better. But it looks like the settings are the same. So someone's saying something about Dolby. I'm going to search vision. for that. Search for that Saying, right now. Is it uh, is the Dolby Vision turned on? Could be the new HDR. Mm, so HDR is turned on. So it did say something about HDR right at the bottom. Smart HDR right there. It say is turned, it's on. turned on. Now let's see if the iPhone 11 has that feature. And smart it's HDR well. is also turned on. So both phones have smart HDR. So the settings are the same in that situation there. So I think we're done with the camera situation. Unless you guys want us to do any more cameras, we can do slow-mo and all that stuff. Maybe we'll do a dedicated review for Maybe that one. Maybe we'll do a different one, yeah. Maybe, should we do some RF tests? Yes. With the SIM and all that kind of stuff? Yes, Do we have guys. time for that stuff? Yes, or are, you, are you guys bored? Me... Should we take a break? How's the camera? No, people are still, people are still there. Everyone's, Colin's saying, you know, it's like the portrait mode when they first released, it wasn't very good. Maybe that's it. There's a lot of, yeah, maybe we're going to get an update. Um, yeah, you guys, um, everyone's saying hello, people are still tuning in. Hello from Brazil, we've got, we've got loads of hellos coming in. So I think let's give them a little bit more of our time. Smudge C, some, I know, smudge, it's terrible, smudge C, it? I'm just looking terrible. at it. We've just been using it for about an hour and it's smudge C. So I think next situation, we're going to be taking out our RF meter. We're going to be plugging in 4G SIMs inside and just giving you some sort of variance in the test between the two phones. We have an iPhone 8, we have an iPhone 11 Pro and we have an iPhone 12, 12. Pro. We even have a note. We're going to be testing pure mobile data. We're going to be testing, um, I guess, with Bluetooth off as well. And just giving you an idea, have they improved the 4G now that they've got a 5G capability? Usually when you have a faster, better, powerful system, when it runs on a lower clocked mode, it runs it a lot better and more efficient. So hopefully, I'm hoping that the radio will be improved on the 4G and it won't be worse. Oh, it depends on what you view as worse. <laughs> Maybe worse is better and all that kind of stuff. Depends on where, which field you're on. For now, I'm going to take a quick drink break and I'll show you an amazing video of us going to Costco to check out how cheap the products are that Apple sell there. Guys, we're going to be showing you the best tech inside Costco. We snuck in, so we've got a vertical freezer over here. Come to this. 444. Security cameras, that's why. Security cameras, check it out. One, one technology, wire free, 599 for a three pack. We've got more, eight channels, this is eight channels right now, 1080p, so when you zoom in it gets all blurry. That guy is 599, same price as that guy. Whew, another eight channel, this is five megabit, you also get a two terabyte drive, 1299. It's us, hello! 4K night vision, this is me on the screen right there, $2,500, look all those, it's us. I want one of these actually for my house, right? Yes. Yeah? Is, yes. Uh, that looks nice. So you got Apple Max as well, babe. Sorry, I'm jumping ahead. 16 channels, 16 for an extra couple of hundred dollars. Extra couple of hundred dollars to get the whole set. What? That's pretty cool, right? That is good. Mac. MacBook Air, 1499. It's a steal. 
This one, IMAX Elite, one, 1879. The iPhone 11 Pro go right here, the top 256GB edition for $2,000. Hey guys, we are back. Well, I'm back. Someone's run, rush off to the a break. Where'd you go? I'm you, here. You're coming back. I'm here as well. All right, she's back. So this segment, we are, as, a, as, as asked in the chat, we are going to be doing a test on the processors. Look out for that. For now, we're doing RF tests. So first up, I've got this um, iPhone 8. iPhone 8 is in the house, and we're just going to check out 4G how much RF comes out of it by normal, comparing it to 11 Pro and comparing it with a 12, and we're gonna be disabling Bluetooth. So while I sort that out, we got a co-host saying some yes, words. Yes, now guys, we are tuning in live. We've been streaming for almost two hours now. We have shown you the upload. <laughs> we have shown you upload speeds of the iPhone 12 versus the iPhone 11 and the iPhone 8 as well. We've also given you a tour, a well-worn tour of the camera of the 12 versus the 11. And you guys, we're gonna do a special dedicated video if you want for the camera settings to let you know exactly what it looks like. Uh, a lot of you out there are wondering whether we should get the Max. Is the Max gonna be better than the Pro? Well, we don't quite know yet because we don't have a hands on the Max. And unfortunately, like Ash said, the Max is only coming in November. So this is all we've got our hands on. But so far, the video quality in the um, on the back facing camera is not as good, I think, as the 11. What else have we done so gosh, we've been giving you guys so much um, goodness. We've been telling you how the bezels look slightly thinner on the 12 versus the 11. And right now, we're about to go deep dive testing into the radio frequency of the 12, the 8, and the 11. And Ash has got his wonderful device there. I've got a big stick over here. So I'm just gonna well, test this out with the iPhone 8 first. And this guy, I've put it on 4G, and I've disabled Bluetooth, and I've disabled Wi-Fi. So I'm just gonna just test the units out. It's in milliwatts per away. meter squared. And this is the phone on idle. I'm getting 100 mi microwatts, yeah, 50 microwatts. So it's, it's pretty much nothing is coming out of this phone right now. Would I don't, even with the overhead, I don't think you guys, oh, maybe you guys there can see a nice shot right there. So it's in UW, UW means it's very low. Obviously some people might think that is high. You know, research it yourself. I'm just gonna say for me, I, li I like UW. UW sounds good to me. Now I'm gonna go and uh, maybe go and, man, let's try to do a speed test. Let's do a speed test. And I'll see how fast it goes with 4G. So I'm gonna run that speed test. And with the speed test coming, it's downloading data. We're getting 92 milliwatts per meter square, 94, 99, 100 milliwatts per meter squared and it's downloading at 25 megabytes a second. So it goes up to 100 milliwatts per meter second. It's downloading 100. Um, it's now 150. This is uploading now. It's uploading faster than my NBN uploads, and it's uploading at 127 milliwatts per meter squared. And when the speed test is over, it's dropping down to three milliwatts per meter squared, and it's probably gonna completely drop off in a second when it's finished doing all of its data traffic. So we we have some idea what's going on. When I turn the screen off, we're getting around 14 milliwatts per meter squared to 25 milliwatts per meter squared, six milliwatts per meter squared. It's hovering around that level. So I think it's still just finishing up some sort of uploads. Maybe Apple's telling, it's telling Apple, hey, I just checked out speed test or telling Google in the background, something's going on in the background doing some sort of thing. And it's still bopping all over the place. Now it's fallen down into microwatts. So it's, you got that UW, I don't know if you can see that, but now the, the screen is off and nothing is happening in the background. So we saw with the phone, well, pretty much with the screen off, it was pretty much nothing. With the screen on, it's still in UWatts. With the screen unlocked, I can't remember what happened. It's about two milliwatts per meter squared or 50, 15 to 13. And that's the iPhone 8. I've been saying a lot of numbers. I've forgotten them all. Oh, it would have been good if someone had down. a pen and paper <laughs> I wrote them down. Maybe, maybe I'll write it down. But we're bored now. <laughs> we're going to go into the iPhone 11 right, Pro and just gonna, see the I'm difference write there. This one down. Oh, she's writing it down. I'm there writing you go. it down, guys. Write it down. So Do the, not fear. So the screen is just on right now. And we're getting between. This is, this is actually in. Um, well, we got, we got milliwatts and microwatts. So it's just hovering around. The highest I've seen it go is 32. And the lowest I've seen it go is microwatts. So I'll give you guys a little demonstration. So now you see the UW and the screen has just turned off. 
So it's in, oh, is it, which one is it? Microns or millions? Microns, <laughs> I'm always forgetting now. But UW is like very, very low for me. When you turn the screen on, it's still UW. And when you unlock it, it probably makes a call to Apple or something like that. But it's still UW, so nothing is going on. So now I'm gonna do the speed test and show you what it does with the speed test on. So it's uploading now at 40, 42 megabytes a second, and we're getting just over 115 milliwatts per meter squared, 120, 111, and now it's uploading, and it's uploading at 13, 14, 15 megabytes a second, and we're getting 125 milliwatts per meter squared, 16 megabytes a second uploading, that's like, 60% faster than my NBN upload speed. Thanks, mates. <laughs> Why don't you give me more bandwidth? NBN can go faster. But the highest I've seen it go is just over 125. So it's very similar to the iPhone 8. When you turn off Bluetooth, when you turn off um, Wi-Fi, and when you just have 4G on, on the iPhone 11 Pro. So those are the settings, pretty much makes it very, very similar to the iPhone 8. Now we need to see how it performs with the iPhone 12. And for that, I'm gonna need a pin. Yes. I have an earring here. And we're all on the same network. Go. And hopefully, I'm expecting it to be better. Or is I it, so. I hope so, it's gonna I'm be better. So. What do you guys think? Now listen, we're testing 4G, we're not testing 5G in this building. We don't tell Stra to get any ideas and build any cell towers next to us. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> we're just gonna be testing 4G out here. But do you 4G. think it'll be the same, lower, or better? I'm gonna need that pin right. one more time. Okay, let's do this. It's a good thing that and we're in Interestingly earrings. enough, the, the SIM is now on the left side of the phone. Look at that, they've changed, they've changed it all again. Ooh. They've reinvented. They've reinvented the... They, uh... they, also, interestingly, in France, French viewer out there can solidify the statement. They call it the e-phone, not the iPhone, the e-phone. Right. Yeah. The e-phone. They call it the e-pad. That's cute. Not the, you know, because their I's and E's are the wrong way around. It's really cute. French, isn't it? Je m'appelle. You know what? What other languages do you guys speak out there? Like, I, I actually took French as a higher... Uh, education thing. I did it as an A level. Whoa. Can you I used to love French so much, um, but now unfortunately I've forgotten a lot of it, which is okay, sad. Say one word to the French viewers out there in the world. Comment ça va? Bonsoir, mon ami. Nous sommes um, unboxing le iPhone 12. Oh my goodness, I've forgotten all my French. How bad is that? It's like anything, if you don't use it, you lose it. How sad is that? I used to be really good at French. I'm so sorry, all my French. French viewers out there, whilst Ash is setting up, we are at his face. I don't know what, what is that face? 5G auto. Oh. It says 5G right there. I don't have 5G phone. It says 5G auto. Mm. So I'm just going to disable that one. <laughs> Let's see. If, so, okay, that's, that's new. That's new. So previously on the iPhone 11 and iPhone 8, you could actually disable 4G and switch all the way down to 3G. Yeah. On the iPhone 12, you can't disable 4G. You can only disable 5G. So, so there's no other option. So basically, what, 5, 3G is gone. 3G out. is gone. It's gone out of 3G is gone on the iPhone 12. Arriba Dorchi, amigo. It has 3G. been nice. 3G was, uh, its RF levels are 10 times lower than 4G. So but you know, it is what it is. Let's just continue going. Right. So you get the option of 5G on, 5G auto, and 4G. I don't know if you see the right hand now. Uh, do I want to risk turning 5G on? I'm not going to turn 5G on. I'm going to switch over to 4G. Because I don't want to turn 5G. But it's not a 5G sim, so it should be okay. Yeah, you never know. They might I have, they might have upgraded. You know, no. on the day they announced the iPhone, um, the cell towers um, it blacked out Stop for a whole hour. There was, there was a whole blackout in our area. So I think they must have been upgrading something. Something happened. So, something yeah, happened. you know when iPhone gets it, everyone gets it. So mm. I've switched over to 4G. I've disabled Bluetooth. I've disabled okay, Wi-Fi. So let's see what's going on with this phone. And hopefully, I'm hoping it's better. So we're getting 42, 28, 21, 20, 50, 50 milliwatts per meter squared. And this is the phone not doing anything. This is the screen on. This is just the we're screen on. So that's a lot higher than the other guys. That's pretty interesting. But maybe it's doing some background calls to Apple that it needs to do, because I'm, I was on Wi-Fi, so it should have done the background calls already. Now it's dropped down to microwatts. Okay. So. No, no, it's back up to milliwatts. It's got up to 40. So I'm gonna turn the screen off and see how it's doing. And the meter, I've kept it the same. So with the screen off, it's still at 30, 52, 30, 
35, 6, 10, 35, 26. Um, I'll show you on the screen right there. You can see it's 60 milliwatts. It's just jumping up and down. Oh now it's 15. Now it's 34, 24, 20. So it's just bopping up and down in the milliwatts area. Maybe let's let it settle for about a yeah. minute. Because on the other phones, they were idling at yeah. uh, microwatts, right? Yeah, they were. Getting they were the, the UW. I've written it down. The UW. So now it's still 20. Oh, that's... Uh, let's do the speed test. So it's still yes. in... Um, I'll switch over right now. It's still microwatts yeah so i'm just gonna just turn the phone on the phone screen on and go to speed test One, okay two, three. we're gonna do this so right now we've got done the 11 now we're doing the 12 and i'm gonna written down all the numbers so we can compare it yeah surprisingly so far it looks like it was using it was rage more there was more radiation coming out of it just when it's idle and the screen was yeah on. just when it's idle not sure why maybe it's doing some sort of background detection maybe the location data was being uploaded let's just see okay, what happens it. now I've left it alone for a bit and it's still going up to 70. It's gone up to 68 right now, 11. So it keeps on, it's like, it's constantly going, it's a bit oh, erratic, no. something weird is happening. I'm gonna refresh and do a speed test with you guys live. I'm hoping the highest we got on the iPhone 8 was 125 when it was uploading around 25 megabytes a second. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. That's and right. then we had 120 milliwatts for the 11. So I'm hoping it'll be less or maybe it'll be more because it has more capability. We're gonna try out live with you guys right now. So I'm running the speed test, and the fastest we're going speed-wise is 20, 20, 28, 30, 35 megabytes a second, and we're getting 40 milliwatts per meter squared, 50 milliwatts per meter squared, 70 milliwatts per meter squared. It's now uploading, and we're getting 95 milliwatts per meter squared. It's uploading at 11 megabytes a second, 83 milliwatts per meter squared, so 100 milliwatts per meter squared, and the upload speed is actually slower than the iPhone 8 and the iPhone 11. So here we're getting 11.5 uploading before we got 16 uploading. Mm -hmm. But the milliwatts when it's uploading is less. So that kind of correlates. It's going at a slower speed uploading, but it's um, using less radiation. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I like that. I'm going to do the 11 versus the 12 one more time because this is a good reading I'm getting over here. Okay. So I'm going to refresh this one more time. Give it another chance. And let's do the 11 first. Okay. And maybe we'll take some notes. Yes. Perfect. Got my iPad at the ready. So this is uh, so, exciting news. So I'm going to hit refresh here. These. So we got 16 and a half on the iPhone 11. It was uploading fast on the iPhone 11 now. This is the same 4G connection to Vodafone. Don't know what's up with that. Maybe, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm going to run the speed test one more time. I'll put the phone over here. Three, two, one. Let's run it. And downloading. We're getting 10 megabytes a second so far. It's going up higher and it's going 88 milliwatts per meter squared, 97 milliwatts per meter squared, 82 milliwatts per meter squared. So it's just under 100 milliwatts per meter squared. On the uploading phase, it's uploading at 10 mega megabytes a second and we're getting 93 milliwatts per meter squared, 90, 91, 88, 94. So the highest we went was 94 on the uploading. I'm gonna switch it over with the 11 right now. So I think the fact that the 12 is now up and running, maybe it's hogging some of the bandwidth or maybe uh, someone's maybe. using the traffic because it was going faster before. But let's try this out one more time. I'm hoping for some sort of improvement, but let's just see what happens. So downloading, it's downloading really fast, 40 megabytes a second. That's twice as fast yep. as what the That's 11 was, good. but it could just be a lucky connection and we're getting 60 milliwatts per meter squared. 63 is the highest I'm getting so far, 64. And on the upload cycle, we're getting 115, and we're uploading at 10 megabytes a second. So 110, 113, 110 again, 116, 110. So it's around 100, 120 now, and it's only uploading at 10 megabytes a second, which I don't know what to make of that, but pretty much we did two cycles, and they all seem, about the same, one thing I did notice was that it was uploading slower, but the most, the most amount I was getting was when it was uploading fast mm. at 16 megabytes a second, I was getting 125. The iPhone 12, it didn't get that fast. The faster it went was 10 megabytes a second, and the highest it went RF-wise was 115. Now again, we're gonna do a proper test with no laptops around yeah. and no, no wireless devices around, yeah. but it gives you a kind of idea that it's, it's very, very similar. 
I'd say maybe it has improved slightly because it didn't get 125 like the other yeah. phones. Yeah. But that being said, it didn't go as fast as the other phones. So maybe it just, if it was going to be uploading more, it might be worse. But it seems to be about the same. That's about with Bluetooth same. off and Wi-Fi off. So rest assured, mm. with 4G, it isn't worse. It isn't like crazy. I don't know what 5G is going to be like. I don't want to know. I shall, shall turn 5G. No, I'm not going to turn 5G on. Come on. No, 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 no. Come on. I, I'm not, I, These guys want to see it. I don't have a 5G phone, so it's, it's not going to happen. I don't want to give Vodafone any ideas. All you know, right. they, they have money. They can buy up the land. They'll probably like force <laughs> tower. Right? They, they can build them next to schools, oh man. Gosh. They can build them anywhere. It's true. So that was uh, wow. pretty interesting. What do you guys think of that situation over there? Do we have any cool comments on the section? Um, let's I'll get have a little bench look at what we've got. Um, so, I mean, people are still really like, you know, confused about the price, the cameras, what's going on. Um, looks like they've taken a step back on the quality between the 11 and the 12. And then uh, Arthur said 11 Pro Max, 12, sorry, 12 Pro Max is definitely the better phone. Well, that's interesting because, yeah, Arthur, you did mention about the bigger camera sensor. So it'd be good to see when it does come around in November. Um, what else have we got here? Everyone's, someone's actually said, do you like the iPhone 12 Pro? Do you like it? I think Actually, it's too don't. smudgy. I don't like I'm not it. sure. Like that's, I'll a, that's be a good question with you. to have. I, I don't. I don't know if I do. Um, purely on the camera situation, I'm a bit disappointed. Personally. I like they had a bigger field of view on the selfie camera. I'm not sure. I like the back, the gold. It's a bit too paper white. It doesn't look like gold. I did like the sides. They looked very, very sexy. If I'm allowed to say that word on YouTube. But as soon as you touch it with your hands, it gets smudged city. So I don't like that anymore. It still looks nice on reflection. The bezels are one millimeter smaller, so that is pretty nice. It's nice that they still allow you to use 4G. I don't like that they've taken away 3G. I don't like that the front-facing Face ID flashes twice as fast or three times as fast mm -hmm. as the older one, even though it doesn't unlock any better, but maybe it unlocks better in better situations. Maybe hard sunglasses on that kind of stuff would be better. It's nice that it's the same weight, mm. that it's slightly bigger. What do you think? Do you like it? Uh, look, I think, the camera situation for me was a bit disappointing. You were expecting more. Yeah, I was expecting something fantastical. Like when we watched the event live, it looked like there was, you know, the, flow, the phone could fly in the picture. <laughs> it was literally doing some awesome aerial shots and the picture quality looked fantastic. But, you know, having to look at these pictures now, I'm thinking they're going to need a lot of processing in Final Cut Pro to make them at that level, obviously, that they had in the event. So I feel a bit disappointed somewhat that the picture isn't as good. It looks a bit too grainy for my liking. Um, I'm quite happy with my 11, to be honest with you. I think it does a good job. And yes, I do echo that thought of the, the fingerprints. Yes, it looked great when it came out of the box. It was nice and shiny. But now, after you've played with it for about half an hour, maybe even two hours, um, it just looks like fingerprints. And it's just not very nice. And yeah, I like the gold, the gold trim around it. But I just don't like the, the fingerprints to it. And I'm going to echo what Asha said as well. The back, I much prefer this golden looking back rather than that whitish um, gold because at the end of the day you've paid for a gold iPhone. Why is it white? It's confusing me. I guess also inside the box a little bit disappointed that there isn't that obligatory nice headphones that you get because who you know why do you want to use your old headphones? They're usually like gunky and they're dirty so it's often quite nice just having a fresh pair of headphones. Why do you have to pay for it? Like that's a bit annoying for me um, and the charging thing as well you know it's always good to have another charger if you're going away if you're going to a friend's house we always lose chargers so a little bit disappointed I guess with the contents of the box um, I guess a little bit disappointed with the actual look of the iPhone as well but I guess you know a lot of you guys out there saying maybe just wait for the Pro Max to come out that might be better somebody's even saying wait for the 13 because the 12 is going to be worthless so there's a lot of talk out there maybe the hype isn't as much for the 12 this year i think we got the wrong one maybe we should have got the 12 pro max if it does have the 50 percent image sensor i was uh we was watching it at like 5 a.m over here in australia so i probably never read it properly the the story i thought the 12 pro would have the good camera but if it might be only a pro max situation let us know in the comments section so we can follow along but for now, we're going to be doing bionic testing. What? There's more? Yeah. What? Like, That's uh, awesome. You know what? We've got Nihai Khan just said, boo. Why are you booing me? What do I do? They're booing the what iPhone, do I, What maybe? do I do? It comes, with a, it comes with the opportunity to buy your own charger. Yeah, you should be grateful. Should oh, be grateful. this is a good question, Ash. One more, one more. This is a good question. What's better, your Note or iPhone 12 Pro? Oh, man. You see, you like, look, man, I... Yeah. He's never going to give up his note. No, I'm not. I'm not. Like, I didn't even give him my note for the Note 20. This Note 10 is great, man. I, I really like this one. Obviously, the camera isn't going to be as good as the iPhone. 
I've tried it out, there's no, I mean, I probably can make it better, but Samsung don't give you complete access to do stuff. I do love the Note, like, I, I, yeah, I, I like the Note, man. I'm, I'm a heavy user though. Check out my video, I've got like iPhone 11 Pro versus Note 10, and I already explained why as a power user, the Note is best for you. I have a firewall on there. On iPhones, if Apple want to phone home, you can't stop them. On the Note, you can install a VPN firewall, and if Google wants to phone home, you can allow them or deny them. You get a lot more control on the Note. But before I dive in a bit more, do you guys want to see how the performance is on the new Bionic processor? Yeah, I do. Yeah, you don't have a choice, because that's what I we're doing do. now. <laughs> we're going to do the Jetstream 2, even though Motion Mark is pretty good. But let's do Jetstream 2, tapping it together at the same time. Look at that, browser, 4G. Loading benchmark. Ooh. Loading benchmark. You guys are getting a real treat Okay, I'm going to switch over to Wi-Fi as well, so we don't have any excuses. Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. It's 4G switching up. Now, boom, we're on Wi-Fi. Now, your phone, the phones are unplugged, and like Nora has said before, her phone's battery has devolved the, over the year. Yeah, it's, it's gotten a lot worse in the last two weeks, and about six months into its life cycle, it's got really bad. But let's just see what happened. It hasn't asked for low power mode, so we should be good still. I think it is on low power mode, Ash. How do you know? Because it's um, orange. This is the low power mode. I can take it off. Oh, yeah, take it off. There we go. Oh. We want it to be a fair test. Oh, the tests are ruined. Fair test. Oh, the tests that we've been doing. With the... Maybe oh. low power mode makes the camera better. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it doesn't do the pro. Who knows? Well, we'll do a full on video. Thanks, video. Nora. Sorry. <laughs> Three, two, one. Okay, it's good that we turned it off. That's good. That's good. Live test. I need a drink. Test. Are you got one? I've got Do you have anything here. less commercial? I don't have anything less commercial. No, I just want water. It's running. It's running. It's doing WSL. If anyone's done these jet stream tests before at home. Oh, look at that, 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 that. Straight away. We're getting fast speeds. Look at that. Ooh. 292 on the iPhone 12. 222. So that is like, well, that's 50%. That's pretty good. Is that 50% fast? 50% faster. They didn't lie. Apple said it was 50% faster, and it is. I can see it right there, 292, two, okay, it's not 50%, it's more like 30% faster, give or take. Uni oh, poker. That's pretty good. It's running, I'll leave these phones alone. Next time what I'll do before I do a test, I'm gonna set the auto sleep display. I'm gonna turn it off. I'm having to tap on the screen every five seconds, it's so annoying. Oh yes, yeah, maybe so I'll do frustrating. That. We got 22, oh, oh is this Ooh. breaking news. Oh, type script. Hang on. Oh, tag cloud. Oh, it's running. Tapping on the screen again. You're tapping that screen. I, uh, but screen. I don't need to tap the screen. <laughs> okay. 350. Oh, wow. And we need to turn off that adaptive display. It doesn't yes, look nice. It doesn't look good it looks, at all. That's, that's why the colors were ruined on Yellow. the photos. But still, the blurriness is it's legit. It's still there. It's yeah. still there. 450 on Richards. Oof, it's an amazing test. You see, this is the kind of stuff this I'd be doing good. if you guys weren't joining me live on the stream. I'd just be on, with my video camera just like, wow, look at the speed, it's so much faster. 173258. This is the kind of stuff you don't get on regular tech channels. This because is like deep. it's boring. <laughs> no, these guys are loving it, man. You're loving it. Everyone's saying, hi, great first look. Are you planning to test the battery live? Um, you know, people are going to want, are they wondering are you going to return it? Are you allowed to return it because of COVID? Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, Maybe you so can't return much, it anymore. So much. You're stuck with this phone, babe. No, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not. You're, you're stuck. <laughs> I'm going to return it, guys. Don't you worry. This test has taken a while. So what's been else been happening in your Pra world? Prabhu has just tuned in, he says, hello, bro. Hello, bro. How's it there going, bro? We're doing a There's test. So, everyone's just excited about iPhones, you know, it's, it's, it's something that's big right now. The ah, iPhone it's 12. mirrored. Look at that. Yeah. I need to flip that camera. We've been mirrored for a while. Guys, why, why didn't you tell me that the <laughs> camera was mirrored? <laughs> they did tell you. I should, I should, Guys. What's the transform? How do you flip horizontal? Hey, hey. there you go. Yeah. Now, hopefully, you guys can see there it. There you go. Now you can read. Now you can read with us. Guys, what, why didn't you tell me it was mirrored? Why didn't you tell me it was backwards? Oh, you I could guys. have fixed this earlier. Press down, so this should be watched by millions. Thank Mill you. Millions of people millions are watching, people this watching this stream. You guys want to know who's going to finish first? It's running. I'm going to get myself a Bundaberg. Do you want one? I'm good for now. She's good for now. But you know what, guys? I'm going to keep tapping on the screen Just because it keeps, <laughs> <laughs> it keeps coming off. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I got a tea. Look at that. Do we like the iPhone 11, uh, sorry, 12 Pro? Yeah, maybe just rewind it, Kamal, just a couple of, the Ash is drinking his tea, just a couple of minutes, we gave you a nice little roundup of what we think about it. Not yet 100% fully convinced that it is a great phone, but we're gonna test these speeds out and see whether or not it does 
live up to what they've said it would do. So let's have a look. We've got jet stream here and here, and we're going to see. We've got, oh, I think we are finished on the iPhone 12, and the iPhone 11 is still doing which phone is which. We've got the iPhone 11 is on this side, and iPhone 12 is on this side. It's iPhone 12, iPhone 11. Just for you guys so you don't know which one's which. Um, all right, I'm going to. Okay, waiting for Ash to come back I'm to back. answer some more tricky questions that we've yeah, got here. Yeah. Uh, let's see what we've got out. So, Ash, the iPhone 12 has finished, but the iPhone 11 is still going strong. So, we're going to wait for it to come back. Oh, no. Let's see so what is going on. the iPhone 12 on. completely... That's it. The iPhone 11 has been outdated. It's outdated. If you got, oh, it's done. Oh, no, it's, finished. it's done. Okay, guys, Ooh, we've got our first performance test over here. I'm excited about this one. I don't know if the screen's showing. Probably yes. looks good. Yes. But I'm seeing... Look at that. 156 on the 12 and 129. So if I know my mathematics, that means the iPhone 12 is, I'm gonna be specific with this one because I don't wanna, I don't wanna mess you guys around. Go on. So 129 divided by 156. That's 18%. The iPhone 12 officially 18% faster. Wow. There you go, break it and drink. God, go have sips of that one. 18, 18 whole percent. Mm. Oh, this is a Bundaberg diet, not sponsored. This is... Um, you wish it was sponsored. We went, we went to Bundaberg. It's a nice little town. It's pretty cool. It says nice beaches around Bulgaria. There's lots of turtles there. Yes. They have a yeah. cove over there. So we're drinking to the... We went, to the fa went past the factory. They got you, a little you, train yeah. that you, know, you tell you, them you love You love Bundaberg, don't you? Tell them about it. Bundaberg yeah. is gorgeous. Oh my God, I actually fell in love with it because it is literally just what, okay, I'm secretly a farmer at heart. My mm. ultimate career in life would the be a farmer. The soil is red. The soil is red. They grow pumpkins, sweet potatoes, everything you can imagine. And all you do is you just look out straight into the fields and there's no high rise buildings. It's all just fields, sugar cane. Oh my goodness, the works. There's, there's macadamia nuts, there's avocados, there's pineapples, light cheese. Everything. They even do um, Bundaberg. have Bundaberg factory there as well. So it's my it's my calling. I'm going to live there one the day. The one thing I say is just be careful on the motorway because you get these big it's truck drivers scary. and the motorway isn't developed. The Bruce Highway and they 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 would run you over. They're they, they, they probably will. They They're yeah bullies. they will want let you bullies. do it. Anything else about Bundaberg you want to say? Oh, Bundaberg is gorgeous. I mean the population is very small. There's not a lot not an awful lot to do there. Um, yeah, there's not really much at all. But I guess if you're a farmer, you're just going to get your crops in the morning, wake up at the crack of dawn and then go to sleep. But the one thing I've really felt over there is that the lifestyle is very healthy. Everyone there eats local food. So you go into their local supermarket and all of the food is sourced very locally. So there's not, it's not had to travel for ages. It's not had to be ripened along route like some things you buy from, a, you know, from international countries. They have to be picked raw and then they ripe on the way. But over in Bundaberg, all the food is just fresh. You can literally, and they have these really cute things called honesty boxes. You can drive past somebody's farm. Oh, that's cool, And yeah. they'll have like some fruit or some crops or something like that outside of their house. And they have like this honesty box, which is just a box that you can put money into. And you don't have to pay. It just, you take the fruit or you take the food from their shelf. And then if you want to, you can give the money to say thank you to the farmer. Like what kind of, what kind of nice person does that? It's so nice. So we were going to do it. We had no cash. Unfortunately, to like drop off some money, so Ash just took the pumpkin and ran away. I'm kidding. No, he, didn't, he didn't really. No, I wanted to. I wanted to give him money, but we didn't actually have any money, so we just drove past. But next time we're in Bundaberg, we're going to do that. We're going to totally get the pumpkins, pay on the honesty box, and uh, just drive off because it is so beautiful. A really funny story I heard actually over there. <laughs> Sorry, keep on giving. I'm just, I'm just going to keep telling keep you this. Enjoying this. <laughs> on their Facebook channel, like they have these posts saying um, we've got 20 kilos of mangoes. Does anybody want to come pick them up because they'll just go rotten? So they have like an abundance of like fruit and vegetables and they're giving them away for free because they just don't have enough people to give it to. And then one person was on the Facebook feed was saying, um, you know, I clearly follow this. One person was saying, just give them to cows because cows apparently like eating mangoes. I never knew that cows like eating mangoes. Did you? It's just... Wow, unreal. cows... Moo. Cows eat mangoes. Moo. I didn't know that, yeah. There you so go. So there you go, guys. That's heads of tech, heads of education. If your kids are learning stuff, there you go. Tell them that piece of information. They because like mangoes. In schools, isn't it? It's crazy. Yeah, cows eat. Is that real? Or is no. this a Bundaberg thing? It's a Bundaberg thing. Bundaberg. <laughs> I've just switched over. I was testing out the camera, and now that True Tone is off, what do you think? It's still. Well, what's your, this one? Mm, it still looks a bit more red. It still looks grainy, guys. It still looks grainy. Well, this one is the blurry one. This is the grainy one. This one looks a bit more red. So I'm just looking at it on the screen right there. So that was pretty interesting. 
Next up, what I'm going to do is going to go back into performance. Because I haven't forgot about that. I was just testing out yes. the camera, see what was going on in the world. Also, by popular request by myself, <laughs> I've now set the auto screen off to five minutes. So I well no longer done. need to tap as much. But I hate that brightness adjustment. Why is it constantly adjusting yeah, the brightness? Yeah, you need to do auto. You stop the auto adjust. Okay, so there's That's another you setting. There's a setting. And um, there you go. oh, no, you've got mm. it off already, actually. I got it off already. You've got and it off it keeps already and it keeps doing it. Yeah. That's crazy. That's weird, isn't it? That is crazy. Yeah, there you go. You, you, Madness. You, you tried to question the heads of tech and you were denied. Denied access. So guys, now we're doing the motion mark. This tests 3D graphics. So we saw that the CPU has improved 18% in the web. Web is mainly like single core, not many multi core kind of like stuff. But let's see how the GPU handles the web. Are you ready for this one? Yes. I'm gonna show you guys live because this is an amazing test. Three, two, one, go. There you go. Mm. Oh, look at that. You know what, Ash? Ed Ventures has just tuned in and said 18%. Oh. Lol. Seems worth $1,000 then. Uh, no thanks. You see? <laughs> Ed Ventures, make sure you check his channel out. Egos. Is, I'll, I'll spoil this for you. His name's Ed, I'm assuming. I'm not going to get this wrong. I'd imagine so. And he goes on adventures. Ed Adventures. And check this out. He's got an amazing video on his channel where he goes into. You, you can tell the show. You can tell him, tell, tell him what he goes into. Where does he go into? The plane. Oh, it, my God. An yes. abandoned jumbo oh, jet. Oh, I love it. He takes videos. his selfie camera and his personality and he goes in there and takes us with him. I love it. And it's a riveting video. Ed is a Bundaberg. On you. Ed, Ed is like my kindred spirit. He says, I'd, or he or she says, I'd rather have 20 kilos of mangoes than an iPhone 12. 20 kilos? <laughs> is, that, is that worth it? It's a lot of kilos. I, I think you got ripped off. Actually, you're right. 12. Maybe you need 2,000 yeah. kilos. You're right. Okay. Oh, this is fun. Okay, so we're running this benchmark. I, I kind of went on a run, but three, two, one, go. There you go. Side by side Ooh. comparison. So Did 12 this? and 11. The, the top one is the 12 and the bottom one is 11. Oh, look how slow the 11 is. Ugh. It's like a second behind. Look at that. Oh goodness wow. me, that's not good, is it? So trippy lighting, we're doing a Friday night disco over yes. here. It's now 9.30. Wow. All the clubs are officially open, so we're doing some hey, good stuff over here. Colin Tech has just donated. What's up, Colin $7 Tech? $7.99. Thank you for the stream. Enjoy a six pack of Bundaberg. Oh, yeah, you go. He knows about Thank Bundaberg. You. Seven. Thank you. This, uh, you know, I've been having some tradies over for some work, and I noticed one thing. Whenever I offer them a drink, if they say yes and they take it, I never hear from them again. <laughs> if they say no thanks, they're usually polite enough to come back. <laughs> yeah. That's my new tradie test. It's just a test. <laughs> test of return. Tradies are like contractors that do work for you. Like, you know, they're, they're late, electricity, like, that kind tradesmen. of stuff. Tradesmen. Trades. It's just short for a tradesman. It's it means like a, like a manual laborer, plasterer, oh. concreter, bricklayer. Epilepsy warning, guys. If you guys are confused by circles spinning around and some sort of colors, then avoid <laughs> this part of the test. It's kind of addictive though. It is addictive. I've seen that the iPhone 12 is ever so slightly ahead of the show, but look at the frame Just rate. Just a little bit, ooh, that's ooh, interesting. Ooh, this one's faster. Oh, Ash, this is such a fun test. Yeah. I've never seen this before. It does, does look faster. Like I'm seeing more chugginess on the 11, but it could be related to your battery. Oh, that's a good point. Good point. Good so what point. other stories you want to tell? Well, let's we, just... We've got to give us Colin Tech. Colin Tech. Colin Tech, do you have Thank a YouTube you. channel? If so, guys, go on to Colin Tech's channel. Subscribe anyway. It's probably... I get you. It's probably a tech channel. You get it? Tech clever. is a tech... That is clever. You, if you don't do YouTube videos, you should. You should do tech videos. You get it? Because you get like... Name. Yeah, T. Yeah, oh, name. that's a good one, man. <laughs> a I like that one. It's yeah. a great name. What else has been oh, going on in the Philippines. Hello, Philippines. Hello, Philippines. You know, that's one place that I would like to go to in my life one day. Why? Philippines. It just looks so gorgeous. Like the beaches, the land, it looks green, it's lush. And you know what? I'll tell you one thing. Filipino people are the most friendliest people I have ever oh, met. Oh, you got that one life. that loves you, isn't it? Yes, yeah. I do. But you know, in, in the hospital, when I used to work in the hospital, the nurses they were so nice. So they were the hard best working. nurses. Not they used to work hard. They always used to be very respectful. And they always used to bring in um, Filipino sweets. And I don't know what they were called. I wish I knew what it was. There was this one sweet that was like mango. And it had, um, God, I don't even know what it was. It was like layers of mango and something else. And it was just so delicious. They were the, honestly, they were the sweetest people. I used to love my Filipino colleagues. They are just so beautiful. Um, so yes, big greetings to you guys out there in the Philippines. It's a country that I definitely want to visit. I'm going to take you with me one day and yeah, visit you guys. Not anytime soon though. 
Like, you know, a bit oh, risky. Oh, not soon risky now traveling. because of coronavirus. This, man? But honestly, the food in the Philippines is gorgeous. Not that I've tested it, but I've tested it over here and the food is just so tasty. There you go. Heads of tech. We're also testing countries. Yes. Yeah, food. Yes. Heads yes. of food. We're still doing yes. this test, this sparkly this test. Is, this it? is quite cool, isn't it? It's about, what's it? The 11's faster? Or is that, what's going on? I'm not sure. I've, I've was, lost track. Oh, oh, the 11 is faster. Yeah. The 11 has caught up. Oh, there you the go. The, caught up. the race is on. This is this is a live side by side comparison. The gold iPhone 12. That's 11 iPhone 12. Which iPhone is going to win? This is exciting. I was going to get the iPhone 8 out, but then I realized that one just. There's no point. Why bother? <laughs> Why bother? Just if you got the 11, if you got the 8, then you're great. You're great with the 8. It's nice. It's got a home button. You can unlock it with oh, Touch ID, the, the good home stuff. Button. I those Back good in the old days. days, has the 11 beat the 12? Yes, it's surpassed. I <laughs> and it's even got low battery, by the way. I just want to say the 11 is faster than the 12. It's caught up. This is that's a yeah. turn of events. That is a turn that, of oh, events. Oh, look at that. That is interesting. I wasn't expecting that. That's shocking. So the 12 is 18% faster on the CPU in the web. But the 11 on the GPU, it definitely is catching up. That's some serious, serious mm -hmm. stuff and claims happening over there. Malaysia. Malaysia. That's how, the place I want to go to. <laughs> are you going to be getting the iPhone over there? Like, like, are you? How much does it cost? Do you have Apple Care? Let me know about your society. Because, ooh, what's this? Malaysia. Kuala Lumpur. I really want to go to the Two Towers. Jakarta. I'd love to go there one day. Why? Because it looks awesome. There you go. That's it looks right. Looks awesome. See, superficial. She's all about the looks. But so if a man says something looks good, it's like, oh, man, you're super fit. <laughs> a woman says something looks good, it's like, yeah, true, you good true, girl with your true. fashion. Is All right, <laughs> we, we, we've joking. got a request from Awell. Can I get uh, the okay. iPhone 12 Pro free from you guys? Free. <laughs> uh, we don't know if we're keeping it ourselves like, yet, you know, so like, we'll, we'll see. It'd be nice, you know, if you said, like, hello, how you doing? I subscribed, I'm your mate, you know? <laughs> they, they gave you this. <laughs> Yeah. It's just straight up. Get, are you mugging me? It's, it's, it's a robbery, isn't it? Oh God. I once got mugged for what, my butt. What's happened to the 12? Oh man. No. Someone's no. meant to be monitoring this. Ash. You have to do this again. Ash. All right, I'm taking, oh, no, it's I'm it's taking auto on. brightness off. It's still on. Auto it's lock still on. is turning off. It's still on. It's still doing nah, it. Let's do it again. Is it, doing it is again. It fraudulent. It's a fraudulent. It's a fake oh. test. Otherwise, Trump will come along and say fake, fake, fake. Don't Do you know what? I, I, did a, I did a bit of a geographical boo-boo. Was <laughs> Jakarta is in Indonesia. Ah, oh, fail. There you go. Fact checked. So which one? So Jakarta. Oh, you know, I'm really sorry. I got mistaken. Malaysia is still a very beautiful country. There you go. <laughs> okay. Is this one. right? Why is one green? What? Oh, they're it? changing colors. Three, two, one. Doing it again. Doing the All test right. again. Now Let's the see. screen brightness off. That was right, up there. Sorry about that. In guys. case you missed it, the iPhone 11 they get 719. There you go. Interesting stuff. I need to change the view so you can see. Oh, look at that. Doing proper, proper tests, side by side yeah. comparison. You oh, guys excited by this stuff? Do you guys like buy phones for the performance? Like, is there anything that's slow on your phone? No. I, I, know, I know there's nothing. I, I, the camera is definitely a sales pitch for me. Yeah. If you needed 5G and you're that way inclined, then that would be a sales point for me. I don't have 5G around here, so that's good. And I don't have a 5G SIM, so I don't need it. And currently right now, the iPhone 12's 5G kills the battery. So you probably don't want it yet, maybe next year. So what else, what other features do we want design-wise, fashion-wise? Probably it's worth getting the 12 because it looks different. So people know you've got the latest phone. It's slightly bigger. It's got a wider field of view selfie picture, according to our test, so that's pretty good. It's got a worse video camera because they do too much artificial computational photography, too much post-processing, in my opinion. Other people might like, like that stuff, so I wouldn't get it for that. So would you get the 12 over the 11? No. No? No. That was a long, Actually, hesitated... I, no, I wouldn't, because, well, you've kind of all seen our feelings as we've gone through this kind of process with you guys. Yeah, it's but all, just, it's if you want to show off to your mates, it looks different. You know, it, people it, are going to know. Like, if, if they are doing a... Um, what's that dude do? and a wow Nur Jamil and want to mug you, they're going to see you got the 12 and say, give me your iPhone 12, mate. Whereas if they see you got 11, they'll probably say, oh, mate, he needs the money. Then I'll, <laughs> then I'll keep my 11. Then I'll it. keep my 11. Thank you very much. No, look, I think it takes someone who really knows about iPhones to kind of know that it's slightly different because 
at the end of the day, it's still got the three cameras on the back of the screen and it still no, looks No, the but same. there is a slightly bigger, yeah, bigger hole. that's the only hole. thing that's different about it. Mm. And, yeah. I didn't oh. like that the ultra-wide camera looked worse in low light. Yeah, I, I wouldn't get the, the... I consider the Pro Max. If you guys are getting an iPhone 12, maybe consider the Pro Max because the Pro, yeah, it's not as good as the 11 Pro camera-wise. So I, I consider the Pro Max. Mm. Now we do have a question from a wow. The guy who wants to mug me for my iPhone 11. Thanks a while. He's now saying, have you been to Jakarta? Probably says you should come over so I can take your phone. I've been through this game before. When I was a little kid, a dude wanted to bug me for my bus pass. He said, can I borrow your bus pass? I knew if I lent him that bus pass, I wasn't getting it back. <laughs> Did you lend it to him? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my God, that's funny. No, oh. we have been to Jakarta. I'd like to go because I think it's quite like a futuristic looking city. Mm. There's a lot of places I want to go. <laughs> Let me know where you guys are because I probably want to go to your country. So we do have some interesting comments. Go on. Champ Fan is saying that the iPhone 12 has a smaller battery. Oh. That's what, probably why it's lighter. Maybe it's not lighter, why. it's the same, same weight. weight. But it's bigger. So does that mean that the battery life is going to be worse? Well, it's got a better processor, so maybe not. Maybe they've balanced it all out. It will be worse if you're using 5G, definitely, because that one's meant to be a battery killer. They said it themselves. Yes. I do like that the 12 is more flush. Like, if I'm going to put it in my pocket, it's not hard-edged. So I'm looking at it right now. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm looking at it right there. But, oh, you guys can't see anything. <laughs> right there. This one's, like, very, very harsh, so it's going to bulge in your pocket. So you probably, with the iPhone... 12, you're probably going to need a bigger budget for buying replacement jeans because it's going to be very, very unfitting. <laughs> Whereas this one's going to slip in, slip out. Yeah. It's going to curve. It's going to yeah. be pretty, pretty, pretty fun. Yeah. Over in that. Apparently, the Pacific blue is noise. 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 I've never seen that I one, seen man. It. I, I saw it online. I, I was it. trolling. I was saying, I'm going to get you it. She was like, nah, bro. <laughs> nah, bro. Not gonna happen. gold will do. No, I think because I'm used to the gold color. So, yeah. When you start introducing new colors into your life, you kind of have to start rearranging everything. Oh my it's God, crazy. Like, that? you have to change your curtains. <laughs> you don't, but like I'm saying, you know, generally, no, you, might, you, you might. might end up having to change your whole flooring because you've got a blue phone. So, but yeah. some people, people nowadays, they're, they're very, very interested in colors. Like, they're all coloring their hair and all that stuff. It's very in fashion. Like, when I was a kid, I, I liked the idea of coloring my hair. My mom would have beaten me up if I did it. But, like, nowadays, it's, like, accepted. If you color your hair, you're probably normal. And if you don't color your hair, you're a weirdo. So mm. things have changed. So maybe you Life need to have changed. a blue, like I'm not in school anymore, but anyone out there who's related to someone in school, let me know, do you get bullied if you don't have the, if you got the wrong hair color? Like maybe if you're not blue or anything like that. I, I told you last time, I walked to a Starbucks, everyone had odd, odd hair colors or probably normal to them. And they were just so rude to me. Mm. Like I said, I said, I was polite. I said, thank you. I said, please. And they just looked me up and down like I wasn't the right hair color. So that was a weird experience. So what colour should I go, guys? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, stop, the oh, stop, stop the press. Stop the press. Stop the press, It's Ash. finished. Stop the press. Okay, stop <laughs> our rambling. <laughs> there you oh, go. Man. Whoa. There you go. Look at that. 871 versus Oops, 659. Sorry. Even though I've got 700 and, um, 700 and something. So I'm going to do a bit of mathematics to not get this wrong. So Go the on. GPU, seven times. But I don't think this is the right test because um, we never tested, tested um, the battery. It should be both plugged in. But mm. potentially, we're getting 32% faster graphics on the iPhone 12. So 18% faster CPU and 32% faster GPU. So if you are struggling to get those iPhone games running fast on the iPhone, struggle no more. It's now super fast, 32%. Now, now you can be like good, doing some stuff on the iPhone that you couldn't do before. What do you do on the iPhone that's intensive with the graphics? Mm. As, a, as a developer, I wouldn't target the iPhone 12 because it hasn't reached market saturation. I always target, I target still the iPhone 8. But maybe AR, VR, that kind of stuff. Maybe when they release the Apple glasses, it will have the processing horsepower to do some nifty stuff. But 32% faster. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's definitely a good performance bump over just a year. 18% faster CPU isn't that much. But what I do like about Apple is that they are improving. Like when I see Intel, 
they're not doing anything with their chipsets. They're really, really struggling. Whereas um, at least Apple's ARM situation is, it's getting better every year. So hopefully Max, if they improve 30% faster every year, I mean, they did say it did improve dramatically faster this year. I mean, AMD, when they released their GPU, it was uh, like over 50% faster. So maybe this 30% improvement isn't that good if I'm comparing it on Mac on Mac. Do you know the, the MacBook Pro 2016 was a lot slower than the MacBook Pro 2018. And the 18 was a lot more slower than the 2019. And the one, yeah, 2019 that came out, it had the latest AMD graphics and it was a lot, lot faster. So maybe this 30 cent bump is just average. But the fact that they are improving it and not doing an Intel where they don't do anything, like 5% is like an improvement for them, is good. You're on track. They have improved. I haven't seen the 50% improvement that they said on the stage, but I guess it depends on the benchmark you use. This is just a web benchmark, so there is a lot of room for performance improvement in other applications if you use the right APIs and all that kind of stuff, because it still needs to get translated and run efficiently on CPU. And the graphics they performed here was just basic. It was just kind of like blitting as many graphics they can have on the screen. That makes sense. Are you guys excited about 32% faster graphics, 18% faster CPU? Is that your excitement in the world? Is that what you, you get off on in this stage? I'm kind of excited about other things nowadays, but you know, <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> the thing is, like the iPhone 11 is fast enough, dare I say it. Yeah. So what application do you need to make it go faster? I would have rather have a better battery life, a longer battery. I would have rather been able to tweak the performance down to the iPhone. He did ask, do you want anything with it? E.g. a charger or headphones? <laughs> <laughs> the box is so small. You could have over. There oh, we're back. We're back. There you go. Hey. Let's, uh, we're back to our first camera. We don't have much battery life left. Probably should wrap this up. Yes. I think uh, we, we've been chatting too much. Is there any questions you the guys want to see in this review before we start? Like, for me, it feels the same. I think the camera's gotten worse. <laughs> it is faster. Yeah. It's an iPhone 12. I think if you're upgrading for maybe an older phone, it'll probably make a bigger difference. But if you're upgrading for an 11, then uh, what yeah. would you think of it so far? Well, these guys are just saying, no, don't let the stream die. No, you want to keep on Camera stream. was overworked and what just happened? Oh, man. <laughs> but we're back, guys, we're back. What do I think? I think you're, so, you're, you're on the point there. Like, if you're coming from a, a lower generation phone, like if it's the 8 or the 10 or something like that, that might be better upgrade for you. But personally, if I'm going from the 11, Pro Max, which is what I've got currently, to this one, I just don't see the monetary value in doing it. So I think for me, it's a... Uh, You're not keeping it? I think for me, I'm going to be returning this back Why? to the Apple's shop. Really? Yeah. I Why? Just, it doesn't feel like it's doing much extra. Yeah, but don't you need to show off to your mates? I don't need... Like, you know what? I would much rather show off a very fancy Gucci or a Versace bag than an iPhone 12. I don't need that. I don't need that. Or I'll keep my money and I'll invest into something completely different, like, I don't know, something nice, a treat for me that's something that I can use on a regular basis that's not an iPhone. That's interesting. Mm. So I saw a question. Someone said, Mag safe. Like, clearly, mags are safe. Nice. But I got a little test here. I don't have the mag safe uh, adapter because I didn't want to pay money for it. But I've been doing some tests with the iPhone 11 and iPhone 12. And I'm using the Samsung MagSafe charger or Mag, Mag, 
magnetic charger. I'm a bit tired, as you can see. <laughs> I'm moving the phone, and it does automatically, you know, go to the magnetic position because it gets hard to push in this area. When I push it away, it's easier. So it does have some sort of mag. And the 12, I'm going to use that as well. Yeah, it also it kind, of, it kind of locks in. I don't know if you can see that, but it kind of locks in. So it gets a bit difficult to move in this area. And when you move out of the way, it's a lot easier to move. I'm using the same amount of pressure. So this whole MagSafe business, I don't know about you guys, but it kind of really does that. <laughs> <laughs> it, it does get difficult in this area, so it's, it's in the middle there. Look, it's hard to move. Where's, where's here? It's easy. Yeah, try it out. Oh yeah. yeah, oh yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah. Oh, it's really tough, like moving yeah. here. It's like very slow to move. And let's try this one. It's like, it's the same. Yes. If anything, this is a bit like less strong. That's because it's, it's up to you. Um, for me, it felt exactly the same. Yeah, it, it, You can yeah. pay money for MagSafe. It sounds cool. Yeah, MagSafe. Uh, yeah, I'm not yeah. sure. I'm, I'm happy sure with this guy. I got this guy for free, but um, I did obviously have to pay for a phone. See, Samsung, they were safe. I pre-ordered this phone on a whim that hopefully it would be good, and they sent me this charger with it's it. It's pretty good. Yeah. See, unlike Apple, where they don't even bother to give you, like, a charger <laughs> or headphones charger. in the box. Like, what is that about? <laughs> That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. But on the yeah. positive, 32% faster graphics, 18% faster CPU, a wider field of view selfie photography camera. On the negatives... Uh, smudge city around, fingerprint city around the edges. It's a bit pale, not gold around the back. A bit pale, looks a bit whitish. And the video quality camera, I'd say is worse. It looks too over-processed for me. And in low light, the ultra wide just is, is, is a lot worse. So that's the negatives, that's the pros. That's for you, you going to say something before mm. I fall asleep? Well, I just had a question. Someone said, are you David More Tennant? questions. Are you David Tennant? Who's David Tennant? Doctor Who. Hey, yo, what's up? Let's do a little scene. <laughs> do, 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 do. I think that's the wrong theme tune. Good evening. I am Dr. David. No, no. Doctor Who. <laughs> knock, knock. <laughs> who is it? It's Doctor. Doctor Who. Hey, ah, hey. Look at that. There you, you guys go. Get it all on this channel. There you go. Oh, goodness that's me. Sweet. All right, what else? What time is it here, Ash? What oh, time is it right now? The time right now is 9.45. We're a bit old, so 9.45 feels like an old time. Yes. And we've been sacrificing our Friday nights with you guys, hanging out to find out exactly Keep what fun. you guys want to know about the iPhone 12. And surprisingly, you guys don't want to know much about it. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're more interested in the RF reading. I think they wanted the Pro Max. Yeah, yeah, we didn't get the Pro Max. Sorry, that's Sorry. next month. <laughs> yeah, we did get the tennis match. 10x max. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ash, I think this has been an awesome stream. I think has you it? have, yeah, you've answered so many questions. You've unboxed the iPhone oh, 12. Yeah, so hot. that was the most difficult unboxing ever, honestly. Like, we, we, there's, there's so many components to it. There's like a lid, and it kind of like went up. And it went back, yeah, it did some stuff. It did some yeah. stuff. We, we discovered that it does come with a USB, but no charger, no headphones. Yeah. And interestingly, the manual does mention about RF. You just have to read it and get a magnifying glass to read it. <laughs> <laughs> to read it. Um, in terms of aesthetics, look, I reckon it's pretty, but I don't think it's worth the upgrade for me personally. I, like, I actually like the older one. Yeah. I, like, I think the older one looks nicer. Like you said, I'm going to echo your thought about putting it into your pocket. Like, this is going to be quite harsh to put into your pocket. Maybe a bit tricky, but this one's a bit smoother. It looks slimmer. I do like that they have made the bezels smaller. Not by much. Like, there's a whole one millimeter there. One millimeter difference. I don't know if you can see it, but it's slightly thinner. Slightly, slightly thinner. They haven't done anything with Face ID, so that's a bit disappointing there. So there is some improvements if you're in the game. You still get the option to upgrade to 512. Are you sure you don't want it? Yes. Why? Guys, what would you do if you had $2,000? Would you spend it on an iPhone? $2,500. You... What would you do with that money? That's yeah, but this is, this is more expensive because it's got the 512 option. You've only got 256. Yeah, but this was doing me fine. It's just that one occasion that But I you were saying things. that the battery life is getting worse. You know what? It's fine. I'll carry a charger. And when it dies off completely, then I will consider getting the next iPhone. It's tough. It's tough. What, what other good things are about this one? Oh, you can't have 3G anymore. That's been disabled. Oh, my God. Yeah. Because, you know, sometimes I do use 3G on my iPhone 11. 
Yeah, mm. yeah, it's, it's pretty useful having that backup, especially when you go to like Airlie Beach and places that aren't as evolved as... Yeah, true. Yeah, true. It's, it's nice having the fallback of lower generation tech. That's, uh, that's yeah. interesting, especially like, I don't know if you ever use the mobile data on a plane, but when we were flying to Sydney, I can actually catch 3G on the plane. Yeah. 4G, you can't catch it because, you know, it's, it's, it doesn't go that far. Yeah. So 3G was pretty it's useful, true. but it's gone now. Goodbye, my friend. No, I never, never say love you. All right, so, oh, Colin says, replace your battery on the iPhone 11 Pro Max with the refund. Can you do that? Can you replace the battery? What refund? Because you're going to refund this one. She's got Apple Care. She can get the battery replaced for like $50 anyway. Just smash your phone. Nice. We can do a live drop test. Drop test! Oh drop God. test! I would do that. What? Yes. Yeah, eventually, that's what you can do. I mean, we would never do that deliberately. But you can get your phone replaced with um, Apple Care. So that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty you don't good. even have to smash it. You can just say, I want a replacement. <laughs> is that right? Yeah, you can. Is that right? You yeah, you get well, three years. You, you have to pay like a, a replacement fee. But yeah, you can do it with Apple Care. And they'll replace good. it. Or even. I'm sure under warranty you can say the battery's degraded because it's yeah. still within a year since you bought it's it, right? Definitely within a year. So there could be some sort of warranty claim you can you probably, probably pursue. Has anyone that. ever gone to Apple and said, yo, my battery is looking bad, can you fix it? Yeah. I'm expecting you guys to answer me. <laughs> <laughs> speak to us, speak to us. Oh man, that's fun. Okay, I think I've done as much. What other testing should we do? Sure. Oh, let's do the ringtone. Our ringtones. Mm. Okay, let's do it. That'll be our final thing. So where do we do ringtones? I think it goes in the settings. And we've got sounds and haptics. So, Apex. Oh, do they have Apex? Oh, there it is. Where is it? Apex. There you sounds go. the same. Join the same with us. Let's play with some ringtones. This is smooth sounds of heads of tech. Ah, it's the classic one. They're the same, right? I'm not noticing anything different. No, they're identical. There you go, ringtones sound about the same. Yeah. That is uh, amazing. Thank you so much for joining this live stream where we checked out the iPhone 12 Pro Gold Edition. And we've had not one camera's battery life die, not two cameras battery life dies, but not two cameras two battery cameras. life die. Hopefully we can make it number three. <laughs> so <laughs> we've been tuning this oh along. How are you guys doing? What are you guys up to this weekend? Let me know in the comments section below. We'll work. You're working, right? I'm working. Let me do some work. We'll be working, yeah, but we'll... it's all good because we've got to spend our Friday evening with you guys. Yeah, it's an amazing Friday evening. It's now 10 p.m. over here in Australia. We've been so lucky to be checking out this iPhone 12 with you guys because if I had to do it on my own, I would have been so bored. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> it's true. You don't want to spend so much fun interacting with everyone. No, but I feel like, I feel like upset because... Like, what happened to us as humans to not appreciate this amazing technology that's in our hands? Why have we gotten so used to it? Because this is like, this is, this is like if you gave this to a caveman, they'd smash it. But if you gave it to someone a bit more involved, maybe give it a Victorian, they'd be like, whoa, 5G, all this kind of stuff. They'd be amazed by it. So when did we start not appreciating this amazing tech? Yeah, it's a good point. Is it just because this year has been a bit interesting? Maybe. Is it just there's too much going on? Maybe that's is, it. Is that it? Maybe that's it. Yeah. Maybe that's it. Because uh, usually we get hyped up about iPhones. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy with Apple though. The fact that they're still releasing phones in this era where everyone's struggling to release stuff. For example, we ordered an oven and it's been over a month since we ordered it. We've heard nothing about delivery. Apparently, they're not, they're not getting stock of ovens from China anymore. So we don't, we don't know when we're going to get it. The earliest they're predicting is January. We ordered a desk from the office shop and they keep on saying it's going to arrive next week, but apparently there's no delivery. It's all out of stock until March next year. We ordered a sofa and 
every single, every single week it keeps on getting delayed another two weeks. So we don't know when that's going to arrive. And we're currently sleeping on an air mattress mm. because we haven't ordered a bed. That, one, that one's on us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you can imagine it's going to take like months Yeah, so there's, months. there's, there's such... There's, there's something like, going on. There's, well, we know what's going on, but there's a major shortage of stock coming to Australia at least. Yeah. So the fact that Apple managed to deliver a gold brand new iPhone with 5G, you know, all this kind of like amazing tech, is that's, that's, that, I mean, it's expected because they are a $2 trillion company. I wouldn't expect anything less. I was actually surprised that they had to wait a month. Yeah. They should have got it done faster. But as a human being, we should be appreciating all of this stuff. We should. You're and right. okay, it doesn't come with a charger. I'm a bit upset about that. I, I was expecting it. Like, yeah. it, they would, they, if, they're, if they're truly nice for the environment, they should make it optional. They, can, they should say it comes without a charger optionally. And yeah. if you want to donate, if you don't need a charger, you can opt out or something like That's that. Really good but just say if you're a poor dude and you don't, ha you don't have a charger, it's your first iPhone, then you have to pay extra now for it. And you're a true children dollar company. Why are you charging me more for a charger? You're not doing it for the environment, mate. Mm. Because you know that people that are buying phones, they want a charger. So you're doing it for profit. And that's just, um, yeah, it's on you. It would be nice if it was optional. Headphones, like, it doesn't come with headphones. What is the situation? Mm. Like, ooh, cables, give it, give it, yeah, I'm, I'm a bit upset about that. What would you, what's your yeah, thoughts? Yeah, you know, that's a really deep and nice thing to say, Ash. Very philosophical. Why are we no longer appreciative? Of this but I think you know I think you're right it's been a funny year made people a bit funny and maybe it just didn't give us the wow factor that we were looking for maybe we wanted more of a bright spark in this otherwise dullish year. Yeah, no it's, it's still bright stuff you got a new iPhone what, 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 <laughs> I don't know what, you, I'm what, what were you looking for what did you want I, what did you want I, this phone to do look, I, I wanted, wanted better battery camera. life I want a better camera I, I want wanted a better camera, camera. camera. better camera. battery life Cameras, but so it's still know. amazing that it's, it's here. It would be nice if they got rid of the notch and got rid of the bezels. Just sort it out, mate. Just get rid of the bezels and get rid of the notch. No one likes the notch. And um, just fix the camera. I expected a better camera. But, and why are you still using lightning? Like, okay, I'm going to talk about lightning and USB-C before the camera breaks. If the camera dies, we're gone. But I'm going to say this is controversial, but I think lightning is a better connector than USB-C. Mm. What do you think? I don't know. Look at it. Guys, you've you got to agree with me, but look at it. Lightning is thin. You plug it straight. You plug it in, it's flush. USB-C is a big, fat circle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, look how big USB-C is. It's a yeah, big, right. fat circle. Right. Lightning is nice and sl slim and flush. They should make the connectors slim like the lightning. So you plug it in, plug it yeah. out. Obviously, lightning is proprietary. Apple, make it open source. Make it free. Release it to the world. But they should use lightning over USB-C. I don't think USB-C is a good choice because it means everything has to be thick, whereas lightning, everything can be slim. So I'm saying out there, obviously I don't like lightning because it's proprietary and no one else has it, but it's a shame that Apple don't make lightning, but they, they, they've earned it, like they've made it. So they can own it, they can do whatever they want with it. They're a professional company. But if the industry could use lightning, it's better than USB-C. Or if they made USB-C better, slimmer, that would be probably nice too. What do you think? Yeah, I'm yeah. with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. <laughs> okay, she's with me. She's probably with tired. We've been I'm streaming three hours. We've got Mohammed Aslan. He's saying, how are you, bro? Ahmed, is that you? My brother. I missed you so much. My mom never told me we were related. Aslan, what happened to the fortune of money you were going to send me? Right, he's actually he looking. He gave you a dab. He's looking for money. Do we have any food? Not yet. Oh, I'm hungry. But you know what, Are guys? Hungry? I think, yeah, I think it's time to say adios. Oh, yeah. So, you reckon? So we need to check out Tech Aslan. He's got a YouTube channel. All right, so we'll they, do that. There we'll you guys. Go YouTube. check out Tech we'll Aslan. Check out YouTube. And guys, let me know what you guys think of the amazing iPhone 12 experience you shared with us. We did like cameras, uh, RF. We had a bit of Bundaberg. Someone gave us a donation, isn't yeah, it? That's really kind. And it, Thank it, you it wasn't like a proper donation. It was like a proper, proper donation. Yeah. Seven ninety nine. It's a good one. That's, Thank you. That was very kind. That's like very, my very rent kind. for the month. Well, a couple you live of it. In oh, guys, I gotta tell you this, <laughs> oh, man. God. Oh my god. Okay, I'm trying. I, I got a wall built. I'm like, you know, trumping about. <laughs> I got a wall built, and now I'm trying to get a gate built. And I had this gate guy. He was trying to give me a quote to build a gate. Do you know like a sliding gate? You, you know, I'm actually making it from scratch with all this stuff, so I'm getting a contractor. This dude, I don't know if he's high or what it is, yeah. He goes to me, it's gonna cost, I was like saying for this design, it's gonna cost 
ah, oh, that was, first, first he tells me it's gonna cost me like 5K and then 8K and then he goes back to 5K and then the latest one he goes, oh, actually that design, it's gonna be a lot cheaper. Ah, oh, I don't wanna tell you because it's gonna be so good, it's gonna be such a good deal. But I gotta go on holiday, but I'll definitely send you the quote before, I, before today or tomorrow. He doesn't send me a quote. The next week, I uh, text him, I say, hey, where's the quote? He goes, oh, yeah, yeah, I've been really busy. And he calls me up and I go, okay, um, this is the quote. And he gives me a quote for a different, fe- uh, a different gate. So I'm saying, okay, how much is the gate that I want? And he goes, oh, that gate, oh, that gate's really hard to do. Oh, that gate's gonna cost, it's gonna cost more. And I go, how much more? And he goes, oh, 800 more. And I go, okay, cool, like it's 800 more. And what, what, he goes, one, one second, one second, one second, one second. Oh, I missed the one. It's 1,800 more. <laughs> this guy is like, like trying to rip me off so bad. Oh, I couldn't handle it so much. Like this, this, this. Um, she went into a stop to buy, to, to buy like some rug. The guy, she walks in, she says, how much is that item? He goes, 40. He goes, okay, what about that item? Nothing's labeled. She, he goes, 80. And then she goes, oh, what about that one over there? He goes, oh, that one, a hundred of, they're just, they're just trying their luck. I hate these little scammers, man. Oh like, why, 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 why can't people just, just be have, straight? Like, have prices. Yeah, have like, prices. Or just like be straight, like don't try sizing me up. And they always come over, they go, oh, that's, uh, that's nice. Oh, that's a, it's like, I didn't come here for a like, property valuation. Oh, how much did you pay for your house? <laughs> Whether it's a big house or a small house, oh. you shouldn't have to ask me how much I pay for my house. I don't go to your house and say, how much do you pay for a that? A couple of years ago, we had this, we, we were trying to do oh up God. our kitchen, yeah? We ended up just doing it ourselves. We just painted it. We, I should actually do it. Check out Heads of, Heads of Estate. We're going to show you exactly how we refurbed our kitchen and all that stuff. We did it ourselves because we were sick of the contractors. They come over and he goes, oh, well, that's a nice apartment. It's how like, much How much you pay for this one? It's such a small apartment, guys. And I, and I was like, oh, I got this one for really cheap. And he goes, oh, is it? Because, um, you know, they say the kitchen is worth 50% of your house. <laughs> he just wanted to know Anything. how much how much we paid so he can have a pricing guide to just try ripping us out of as much money as he could. And they all do it. It's just like, and, and I noticed that the ones who don't want to do the work or find it hard, they just add a one at the beginning of their quote. Like I had, I had quotes from as little as like $300 to over $1,000 for the same task. It's crazy. I, yeah, it's it's, it's, uh, it's, crazy. it's uh, I'm having a lot of fun. It's a big headache. I had another guy today. He said he was gonna call me back in two hours. He didn't call me back in two hours. I called him back after four hours. He said, "Oh, he's having a, he's having a real bad day today. Oh, you, he's not gonna get back to you today. Maybe next week." I'm like, "Okay, okay." <laughs> okay <goodbye. laughs> I don't know what to do, man. It's pretty interesting getting your head around. Unless you know people, it's hard when you don't know anyone and you can't trust Google reviews. They're all fake. They're, they're, and it's just so like Joe Blogs fake reviews. It's like, oh, this guy came over, he did a superb job. It's very like similar and non-descriptive. I don't know what we're talking about this stuff for. She's Turn probably, up. you're tired, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. well, no, I, I'm enjoying this. It's really fun. Okay. Everyone else is enjoying it too. Mohammed Aslan saying you're the best. And uh, someone said, stop spamming. And I said, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love you guys, so much yeah, fun. So my brain's a bit overloaded. I'm wondering how this iPhone 12 is gonna make my life better. I'm glad that they made the bezel slightly smaller, but I still notice the bezels. Like, again, this is a two-year-old phone, bezel free. This one, bezel city. Fingerprint city. Fingerprint city. You're gonna need a case. Mm. 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 Oh, that's interesting. What's that? It's not flush. The SIM card isn't flush. <gasps> look at that. I'm rubbing Revelation. My, rubbing my finger on it. Oh, you're right. This yeah. one is flush. Yeah, look at this, guys. Look at that. It's not flush. Does it stick can, out can a lot? Get, oh, it's completely off. I don't know if you can see, but it's not flush, it's bumpy. Yeah. You rub your finger on it, it's like, oh, it's gonna that's hurt someone. Oh, really grating. Look at that. Oh my goodness, yeah. it's really sharp. It's the metal sharp. is sharp. It's sharp, it's gonna the hurt someone. The metal is sharp. And keep this away that's from your kids. That's gonna catch on can your you see clothes. This? If yeah. you've got like a silk oh. shirt on, and uh, you pop that in your pocket, you're gonna really scratch up your nice silk shirt. There you go, that's intense. There you you, go. That you is my thought end. the stream was over. But look at this, this one's completely flush. Completely flush, it's smooth. Ooh. Yeah, it's not good around delicate clothing. Ooh. Imagine you bought like a fancy brand, obviously not for me, maybe you buy a fancy dress and it breaks. Yeah. Oh, That's rips. really harsh. Oh. It's, it's, such, it's like metal that hasn't been filed down, that's what it feels like. It feels yeah, good. yeah, it grates. 
Feels we bad. Should do it. Can we, is there a should we get an apple? Should we see if we can peel an apple? Well, I think just like put on a no, don't, don't ruin that. Don't ruin that. Well, I don't know how to demonstrate to you I guys. Don't. This is like a grater, almost like a cheese grater. I'm just gonna have to test this out. I'm gonna just see <laughs> what's going on. Let's see. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, it catches. Can it you catches. hit it? Yeah, I can. Look, look. It's terrible. Can, can you, can you that see this? Terrible. This is terrible. Oh, look, this is an idea. Oh, maybe don't use that. That'll hurt. Okay. But let's look. It, I'll zoom in a bit. It is sharp. It's sharp. Someone said, is it sharp? Yes, it's sharp. Yeah. It's sharp. So Very we've got sharp. it right here on the camera. And I'm just using, this is rubber. This end piece is rubber. And I'm just going to pull it forward. And it sticks. I can't get past it. Maybe get your microphone and put it on so they can hear. Do you hear that? It's like I'm hammering. This is kind of addicted, ASMR. Take a listen, guys. Ooh. This is the 5G SIM card. I'm actually breaking it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe don't do that for long. But no, but like, regardless. For this one here, this one's oh. smooth. Look at it, it just glides. See that? It glides. Mm. Yeah, it's a sharp oh, edge. Oh, this a sharp is edge. the stream that keeps on it giving. Uh, we're waiting for the camera battery to die. Oh my out. god, that is so disappointing. It's so sharp. It's Maybe, like, is it, it's is like, it in? No, yeah. oh, hang on. <laughs> Troll. Oh, now it's flush. There you go. <laughs> Retraction. <laughs> we take that back. It wasn't fully plugged in. Maybe that's why it wasn't going fast on the RF tests. Oh, we're going to have to do it again. <laughs> okay, we'll do a proper RF test video. All right, guys, I think um, Live we've made stream. enough boo-boos I'm hungry. Here. We've done most good, good boo-boos. That's good that it connected, though. It's pretty good. You don't have to do the mission. You have to do it together. Yeah, no, it works. It's, it's a bit it of worked. fun. It works. Yeah, guys, guys, did you enjoy this session it's together? We did. Everyone yeah. was loving it. Are you having fun? <laughs> Everyone had a bit of a moment. They're like, oh, my God, it's like a grater. And it's like, no, it's okay. <laughs> it's a cream. <laughs> we should have kept that in. That would have been it. Guys, if you want to troll your mates, make sure you show them that section. Make sure they watch from that. Get a timestamp. Oh Someone post that timestamp in a comment and share it to your mates. And they'll be like, oh, my God. <laughs> and then when they find out, and we we better we better cut the stream. I checked the camera; it's got one percent battery life, so it's about to die out. And I've enjoyed this live stream with you guys. Same. It's been so much fun. And you guys, like a round of applause. You've managed to withstand headset. We're gonna start stripping because you know you guys deserve a bit of something, something. So I'm gonna take my little. Oh yeah, check this out. Check this out. Lab coat is off. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, hope you guys found this amazing video useful and entertaining and enjoyable. Enjoyable, that's the name of our channel, Enjoyable Head to Tech. If you have any questions, make sure you leave a comment in the comment section below and subscribe to Heads of Estate, all the channels, watch the other videos, like, subscribe, share. And uh, that cool dude that left us a tip, make sure you subscribe to his channel. Arthur. What's Arthur, what's his name? And call Colin Tech. Colin Arthur Tech. Arthur and Colin Tech. Subscribe to their channels. And E Adventures, Adventures, check him out as well. Some good stuff happening. Hope you guys, are you going to be buying this amazing iPhone 12 with a white background, thinner bezels, all that kind of stuff? Let me know. I'm excited to find out. Hope you guys enjoyed the show. See you guys later. <laughs>